Write in English. I've taken up writing in English every day. It's like embarking on a literary adventure. That sounds exciting. But what if you accidentally write a letter to yourself from the future? I take the advice seriously and probably invest in time travel research. Who knows? Future me might be onto something. Imagine writing a grocery list and it turns into a fantasy novel plot. Shopping would never be the same again. I'd end up searching for dragon fruit and magic beans in every aisle. My kitchen would turn into a wizard's pantry. What if your diary entries start responding back? You'd have a pen pal from another dimension. That would be the ultimate interactive journaling experience. I'd have conversations across space and time. But imagine autocorrect turning your romantic poem into a comedy sketch. Then I'd be the next Shakespeare of comedy. Each writing session would be an unexpected journey through genres. From future letters to magical groceries and dimensional diaries, writing in English surely brings imagination to life. Here's to success. Here's to success. You know, I was thinking about how we've approached this project. What's your take on what really drove our success this time around? Honestly, I think it was a mix of proper planning and the right team dynamics. We planned out each phase with precision, and everyone was on the same page from the start. Do you agree? Absolutely, the planning was crucial. Also, the weekly check-ins made a huge difference. They kept everyone accountable and focused. How do you think we can apply these lessons to future projects? We should definitely keep the structure of regular updates. Maybe we can integrate more feedback sessions too, to refine our processes as we go. It might help us adapt faster to any unexpected challenges. Great idea. Adapting quickly is essential. Maybe we could use a more dynamic project management tool as well? something that allows us to track changes in real time. That sounds perfect. Let's look into some options and see which tools fit our needs. Keeping the momentum going is key. In the makeup store, Hi, I'm looking for a foundation that's good for oily skin. Could you help me find something? Of course. We have a few options that are great for oily skin. Do you prefer a matte finish or something more natural? I like a matte finish to help control the shine throughout the day. In that case, I'd recommend this line here. It's designed specifically for oily skin and provides long-lasting matte coverage. We can try a couple of shades to see which one matches your skin tone best. That sounds good. Can we try this medium shade here? Absolutely. Let's apply a little on your jawline to see how it blends. How does that feel on your skin? It feels quite light. I like it. Does it come with SPF? Yes, it has SPF 15. So it offers some protection against the sun. Perfect, I'll take one. Do you have any setting powders to go with it? Yes, we have translucent and tinted options. Let me show you. Traveling by train.
Is this seat taken? No, go ahead. Great, thanks. It's my first time on this route. Does this train stop at Riverside Station? Yes, it does. Riverside will be the fourth stop from here. You've got about 30 minutes. Perfect, that gives me enough time to settle in. Is there usually a dining car on this train? Yes, there's one two cars back. They have some decent options if you're hungry. Or just want a coffee. That sounds good. I might head over there in a bit. Do you travel this route often? Pretty regularly, yeah. I commute for work. It's a nice ride, usually pretty smooth. Good to know. I'm travelling for a meeting in Riverside. I hope it's a scenic route. Oh, definitely. Especially as you get closer to Riverside. The views by the river are beautiful. I'm looking forward to that. Thanks for the info. No problem. Enjoy your trip. Let's give it our all. Have you heard about the Community Marathon next month? They're raising funds for the local children's hospital. Yes, I saw the posters. I've never run a marathon before. Though, do you think we could actually do it? Why not? We have a month to train. And it's for a good cause. Let's give it our all. What do you say? It does sound like a great opportunity to help out. Plus, it might be fun to challenge ourselves like this. Exactly! We can start slow, maybe a few short runs each week, and build up from there. There's plenty of beginner training plans online. That's true. And it would be more motivating to train together. We could keep each other on track and stay motivated. Agreed. Let's plan our schedules and set some milestones. It'll be rewarding to cross that finish line knowing. We contributed to something meaningful. All right, I'm in. Let's register this weekend and start our training. It'll be a tough ride, but worth it. Great. Here's to us running for a cause and pushing our limits. I don't agree. Have you heard about the proposal to implement a four-day work week? Yes, I have. Some people seem to be in favor of it. But what do you think? Honestly, I don't agree with the idea. Really? Why not? Well, while having an extra day off each week sounds appealing, I'm concerned about productivity and meeting deadlines. I see your point. But proponents argue that. A shorter work week could actually increase productivity by boosting employee morale and reducing burnout. That's true, but I'm skeptical about whether it would work in practice for all industries and businesses. Fair enough. It's definitely a complex issue with various factors to consider. Exactly. I think it's important to thoroughly analyze the potential impact before making such a significant change. That's a valid perspective. It's essential to weigh the pros and cons before reaching a decision. What time is it? What time is it? It's 3.45 p.m. Thanks. I thought it was later. No problem. 
Do you have somewhere to be? Yeah, I have a meeting at 4 p.m. You should probably get going then. It's almost time. Right. I'll head out in a few minutes. Need any help preparing? No, I just need to gather my notes. Okay. Let me know if you need anything. Will do. Thanks. How are you doing? Hey, how are you doing? I'm doing pretty well. Thanks for asking. Just been keeping busy with work and trying to find some time to relax in between. That sounds like a good balance. Work can be overwhelming at times, but it's important to carve out some time for yourself. Absolutely. Couldn't agree more. I've been trying to prioritize self-care lately. You know, making sure I get enough sleep and exercise. That's great to hear. Taking care of yourself should always be a priority. Have you been able to catch up with any hobbies or interests? Not as much as I'd like, but I've been squeezing in some reading whenever I can. It's been nice to escape into different worlds for a while. Reading is such a fantastic way to unwind. I've been meaning to pick up a book myself. Any recommendations? Well, what genre are you into? I have a few favorites depending on your interests. Reflect on your learning. I've started reflecting on my English learning journey every evening, writing down what worked and what didn't. Sounds a bit like keeping a diary. Does that actually help? Surprisingly, yes. It's like my own personal adventure book. Last week, I realized puns were a weak spot for me. Puns? That's pretty specific. Yeah. So I dedicated a whole day to understanding and creating puns. I shared some on a language learning forum for feedback. Let me guess, you became a pun master? Sort of. A comedian saw my post and invited me to collaborate on a script for an English learning comedy sketch. You're joking. From reflections to writing comedy? Exactly. And here's the kicker. After the sketch went live, an English teacher contacted me to use it as teaching material for her class. From daily reflections to impacting classrooms. That's an unexpected twist. Your learning journey is quite the story itself. Learn new vocabulary and grammar. I've been expanding my English vocabulary and grammar. It feels like unlocking secret levels in a video game. That's awesome. But what if you learn a word that accidentally summons a friendly grammar genie? I'd wish for the ability to master any language in seconds. Then, I'd be the ultimate polyglot. Imagine using a new word and suddenly finding yourself in a spelling bee championship. I'd spell my way to victory with my new vocabulary powers. Maybe even win a trophy for most creative use of adjectives. But what if you learn an old English word that transports you back in time? I'd have tea with Shakespeare and discuss his latest plays. I'd even suggest a few plot twists. 
What if your new grammar skills allow you to decode secret messages in everyday conversations? I've become a linguistic detective, solving mysteries with conjunctions and prepositions. From summoning genies to time, traveling chats with Shakespeare, learning new vocabulary, and grammar makes you a wizard of words. Exactly. Every new word or rule is a magical key to endless adventures and mysteries. You're very smart. You're very smart. Thank you. I'm always impressed by your problem-solving skills. It's just a matter of logical thinking. Still, not everyone can do it as effortlessly as you. I guess I have a knack for it. Definitely. Your insights are always valuable in our discussions. I'm glad to contribute. You should consider pursuing a career that leverages your intelligence. I've been thinking about it, but I'm not sure what path to take. With your abilities, the options are limitless. I appreciate the vote of confidence. It's well deserved. Keep pushing yourself and you'll achieve great things. I'll definitely keep that in mind. Just remember, you have the potential to excel in whatever you choose. Thank you for the encouragement. It means a lot. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. Thank you. No, really. I mean it. I appreciate the compliment. I just wanted to remind you how special you are. That's very sweet of you to say. It's true, though. You have such a unique charm. Well, thank you for making my day. Anytime. I think it's important to express appreciation for the people we care about. I agree. It's nice to hear kind words every now and then. Definitely. You deserve all the compliments in the world. You're too kind. Just stating the truth. Well, thank you again. It means a lot. Of course. Just remember... You're beautiful, inside and out. Thank you. That's very uplifting to hear. I couldn't agree more. Have you heard about the new cafe that just opened downtown? Yes, I did. I read some great reviews online. Have you been there yet? I went there yesterday. The ambience is fantastic, and the coffee is excellent. You should definitely check it out. That's good to know. I've been looking for a new spot to hang out. Did you try any of their pastries? I tried a blueberry muffin. And it was delicious. They also have a variety of vegan options, which is a plus. I couldn't agree more. It's so important for places to offer diverse options these days. Absolutely. They also have free Wi-Fi, which makes it a great place to work or study. That sounds perfect. I might go there this weekend to catch up on some work. Any recommendations on what to order? I'd recommend their cappuccino. It's perfectly balanced 
and not too bitter. You won't be disappointed. Thanks for the tip. I'll definitely give it a try. Try out, test, or use someone or something to assess their qualities. Have you been to that new Italian restaurant downtown yet? Not yet, but I've heard good things about it. Have you tried it out? Yes, I went there last weekend. I wanted to try out their signature dishes to see if it lived up to the hype. So, what did you think? It was amazing. I tried out their homemade pasta and the margarita pizza. Both were fantastic. That sounds delicious. Did you try out any of their desserts? I did. I couldn't resist trying out their tiramisu. It was the best I've ever had. Wow! Now I'm really tempted to go. How was the atmosphere? It was cozy and welcoming. The staff were friendly, and the service was excellent. You should definitely try it out. I'll make a plan to go this weekend. Thanks for the recommendation. No problem. Let me know what you think after you try it out. I'm curious to hear your thoughts. Will do. I'm looking forward to it already. Utilize language learning apps. Dedicate time each day to using language learning apps designed for English practice. Apps like Duolingo, Babbel, or Rosetta Stone are structured to facilitate daily learning. And offer a mix of vocabulary, grammar, and interactive exercises. They're particularly useful for fitting in practice during downtime or while commuting. Talk over. Discuss thoroughly. Do you have a moment? I wanted to talk over something with you. Sure. What's on your mind? I've been thinking about taking a trip to Europe this summer, but I'm not sure where to start. I was hoping we could talk it over. That sounds exciting. Where are you thinking of going? I'm torn between France, Italy, and Spain. Each has so much to offer, and I can't decide. All great choices. Let's talk it over. What interests you the most in each place? In France, it's the culture and food. Italy has incredible history and architecture. Spain seems vibrant and lively. Have you considered the logistics? Let's talk over how much time you have and your budget. I have three weeks and a decent budget, but I want to make the most of it without rushing. Maybe we should talk over an itinerary that includes a bit of each country. You could spend a week in each place. That's a great idea. Let's talk it over some more, and figure out the best plan. Absolutely. Let's grab a coffee and map it out. Perfect. Thanks for helping me talk this over. I feel better about planning now. That's a sign of progress. Have you seen the old theater downtown? They finally started the renovations. Really? That building has been dilapidated for as long as I can remember. That's a sign of progress. Absolutely. The plan is to turn it into a community arts center. They're hoping it'll revive the whole area. That sounds like a fantastic project. It could really bring some life back to that part of town. Yeah, 
and they're incorporating both modern elements and preserving some of the historical aspects of the original structure. I love that approach. It respects the past, but makes it functional for today's needs. Are they seeking community input? They are. There have been a few town hall meetings already, and they're encouraging locals to share ideas and suggestions. That's a smart move. Engaging the community will definitely help ensure the project's success and relevance. For sure. Once it's completed, it should be a great venue for concerts, plays, and art exhibitions. I can't wait to see the final result. It's going to be a major boost for the city. I'll engrave that in my memory. They tell me that I'm never gonna make it They want me to do something that can make sense They hate when I keep dreaming I'll be thankful Have you remembered to pick up the dry cleaning today? Oops, I totally forgot. Thanks for reminding me. No problem. And don't forget to drop off the package at the post office too. Right, got it. I'll make sure to do both today. Thanks. It's important not to let those slip through the cracks. Definitely. I'll engrave that in my memory. Also, did you pay the utility bills yet? Not yet, but I'll take care of it as soon as I finish here. Good. We don't want any late fees. Agreed. I'll engrave that in my memory too. I'm at a loss for words. Did you hear about what happened at the art gallery last night? No, I haven't. What happened? Someone vandalized one of the main exhibits. It was a renowned painting by a famous artist. That's terrible. Why would someone do that? That's the baffling part. There was no clear motive, and the security footage doesn't show much. I'm at a loss for words. It's hard to believe someone would go to such lengths to ruin art. I know. The gallery staff are devastated. They've been working so hard to make the exhibit a success. Do they have any leads on who might have done it? Not yet. They're working with the police to investigate, but it's a slow process. I hope they find the culprit soon. It's such a shame that this happened. Definitely. It's a big blow to the community and the art world. Let's hope they can restore the painting or at least find some way to make up for the loss. Yes, that's all we can hope for right now. I'm confident in your abilities. Do you think we should expand the project scope to include the new features the client mentioned? It depends on our timeline. If we add those features, can we still meet the deadline? Possibly, but we'd need to prioritize tasks differently. We could push some of the less critical features to the next phase. That sounds reasonable. Have you checked with the development team on their capacity? I have and they're confident they can handle the additional workload with some minor adjustments. They suggest starting with the design modifications next week. Good to know. What about the budget? Adding features will increase our costs. True, I'm drafting a revised budget proposal. I'll include the cost of additional resources and time. 
We should have a meeting to discuss this in detail. Let's set that up. It's crucial we all agree on the changes before proceeding. I'll coordinate with the stakeholders and set up a time for tomorrow. Perfect. I'll prepare the necessary documents and projections for the discussion. That's out of the question. Have you considered taking a year off to travel the world? As much as I'd love to, it's not feasible right now. But think about all the experiences you could gain, the cultures you could immerse yourself in. I understand. But with my job and financial responsibilities, taking a year off is out of the question. What if we plan it meticulously, save up, and maybe find a way to work remotely while traveling? That's a tempting idea. But it's still a big risk. True. But sometimes the biggest risks lead to the greatest rewards. I agree. But for now, taking a year off to travel is simply out of the question. Fair enough. Maybe we can start with shorter trips and see where it takes us. That sounds like a more practical approach. Let's focus on that for now. Very good, thanks. Did you finish that report for the meeting? Yes, I did. I've included all the necessary data and analysis. Very good, thanks. Did you also email it to the team? Not yet. I was waiting for your final approval before sending it out. All right, let me take a quick look. Looks good to me. Go ahead and send it to everyone. Will do. Should I schedule the meeting for tomorrow? Yes, that works. Let's aim for 10 a.m. Got it. I'll send out the meeting invitation along with the report. Perfect. Anything else we need to prepare for the meeting? I think we're all set. I'll double check the agenda and let you know if anything comes up. Great, thanks for your help with this. No problem, happy to assist. That's the last straw. Did you hear what happened at work today? No. What happened? Our manager decided to cancel all vacation requests for the next two months. Seriously? That's the last straw. We've been working nonstop for months. I know, right? Everyone's really upset. We all had plans, and now we have to cancel everything. What was the reason behind this decision? He said it's because of an upcoming project that needs all hands on deck but it feels really unfair. Absolutely. People need their brakes to recharge. This will just lead to burnout. Exactly. Morale is already low, and this will just make things worse. Maybe we should all bring this up in the next meeting. They need to understand how this affects everyone. That's a good idea. We need to make our voices heard. Agreed. Let's gather everyone's thoughts and present a united front. Sounds like a plan. We can't let this slide without addressing it. Makeover, transform or renovate.
Did you start on that big garden project you were talking about? Yes, we finally broke ground last weekend. We're making over the entire backyard. It's going to be a lot of work, but totally worth it. That sounds like a massive undertaking. What's the plan for the space? We're adding a new patio area and some raised beds for vegetables. There's also going to be a dedicated section for herbs and a small greenhouse. It must be exciting to envision the transformation. How did you come up with the design? We worked with a landscaper to make sure we're making the most of the space. She helped us figure out where to place everything for the best sun exposure and drainage. Smart move. It's impressive how much planning goes into a proper garden makeover. Definitely. It's a big project, but seeing it all come together will be amazing. I'm looking forward to enjoying the outdoors more once it's done. It'll be like having a brand new garden. I can't wait to see how it turns out. Blockbuster. Have you seen the new blockbuster that just came out? The one everyone's been talking about? Yeah, I caught a screening last night. It's as epic as they say. Are you planning to see it? I'm thinking about it. Is it worth the hype? Absolutely. It's got everything big action scenes, amazing special effects, and a really gripping story. Sounds like my kind of movie. Did you watch it in 3D or standard? I went for the 3D version. It makes the action sequences pop out more. I recommend it for the full experience. Good to know. Did it have a good crowd? It was packed. I'd suggest booking your tickets in advance to get a good seat. I'll do that. Maybe even catch a late night show to avoid the crowds. Not a bad idea at all. You're going to enjoy it, I'm sure. Thanks for the tip. I'll book my tickets tonight. I have to find my bearings. How was your first day at the new job? It was a bit overwhelming. I have to find my bearings in this new environment. I can imagine. New workplaces can take some time to get used to. Yeah, there are so many new faces and procedures to learn. Don't worry, you'll get the hang of it soon. It just takes a little time. I hope so. I want to be productive as quickly as possible. Just be patient with yourself. It's normal to feel a bit lost initially. Thanks for the advice. I'll do my best to find my bearings and settle in. You're welcome. And if you have any questions or need help, don't hesitate to ask. I appreciate that. I'll keep that in mind. Good luck, and I'm sure you'll find your bearings sooner than you think. Thanks. I'm optimistic that things will get easier with time. Crush it. Are you ready for the sales pitch tomorrow? It's a big audience. I think so. I've gone over my slides and practice the talk multiple times. Still, it's a bit daunting. You're going to crush it. You know the product inside out, and your enthusiasm is contagious. Thanks. I hope the clients think so too. I really want to land this account. With the prep you've done, I have no doubt you'll impress them. What's the key message you're aiming to convey? 
mainly how our product can streamline their operations and reduce costs significantly. It's all about efficiency and reliability. Sounds compelling. Make sure to hit those points hard. They're exactly what potential clients want to hear. Will do. I'll also share some success stories from current users to strengthen the case. Perfect. Just stay focused. Communicate clearly. And show your passion. You're fully equipped to knock this out of the park. I appreciate the encouragement. I'll give it my all and hopefully, we'll have a new client by the end of it. Good evening. Good evening. Evening. How was your day? It was all right, thanks. How about yours? Busy as usual, but productive. That's good to hear. Did you hear about the new project announcement? No, I must have missed it. What's it about? It's a collaboration with another department on improving customer service. Interesting. Do you know who's leading it? I think it's Sarah from the customer experience team. Ah, I've worked with her before. She's good. Yeah, she seems pretty organized. Hopefully, it'll be a smooth project. Fingers crossed. So, any plans for the evening? Not really, just going to relax at home. How about you? Same here. Maybe catch up on some reading. Sounds like a plan. Well, have a good evening. You too. Take care. Greetings and salutations. Greetings and salutations. Hello there. How are you today? I'm doing well. Thank you. How about yourself? I'm feeling quite good. Thank you for asking. It's always nice to start the day with such cheerful greetings. Absolutely. It sets a positive tone for the day ahead. Indeed. So, any plans for today? Just the usual routine, work, errands, and maybe catching up with a friend for dinner later. How about you? Same here. Nothing too out of the ordinary. But I'm hoping to find some time for a leisurely stroll in the park. That sounds like a wonderful way to unwind. It's important to find moments of relaxation amidst the hustle and bustle of life. Absolutely. Well, I should probably get going now. Have a fantastic day. You too. Enjoy your stroll in the park and take care. Make it happen. How's the progress on the app you've been developing? Last time we talked, you were about to start beta testing. It's been slower than I hoped. We're facing some technical hurdles that might delay our launch. That sounds frustrating, but you've got the vision and the team to make it happen. What's the main issue? There's a major bug affecting the payment gateway integration. It's crucial we fix it to ensure transactions are secure and smooth. Have you considered bringing in an external consultant? Sometimes a fresh set of eyes can make all the difference. I've thought about it, but it's also a budget concern. 
consultants aren't cheap. True, but think of it as an investment. Fixing this now could save you from bigger problems after launch. That's a good point. I'll look into some potential consultants tonight. Remember, you're too close to the finish line to slow down now. Make it happen. You won't regret putting in the extra effort to ensure everything works perfectly. Thanks. I needed that push. I'll make the necessary moves to get us back on track. I'm so sorry to hear that. Did you hear what happened to Jake? No, what happened? He got laid off from his job yesterday. I'm so sorry to hear that. How is he handling it? Not well. He's really stressed out and worried about finding another job soon. That's understandable. The job market is pretty tough right now. Yeah, and he's got a family to support, so the pressure is really on. Does he have any leads or plans yet? He's been reaching out to his network and applying online, but nothing concrete yet. Maybe he should consider some freelance work in the meantime. It could help bridge the gap. That's a good idea. I'll suggest it to him. He needs all the support he can get right now. Definitely. If there's anything I can do to help, let me know. Thanks, I appreciate it. We all need to be there for him during this tough time. Absolutely. Let's hope he finds something soon. Brush up on, improve, refresh one's knowledge of something. Have you ever thought about traveling to France? Yes, actually. It's on my bucket list. I've always wanted to see Paris and the countryside. That's awesome. Do you speak any French? I studied it in high school, but I'm pretty rusty. I definitely need to brush up on my French before going. That makes sense. How do you plan to brush up on it? I'm thinking about taking an online course and maybe using some language apps. Do you have any recommendations? Duolingo is pretty good for brushing up on basic skills. You could also try watching French movies or listening to French music to get a better feel for the language. Those are great ideas. I'll start with Duolingo and see how it goes from there. Any specific movies or music you'd suggest? For movies, you could start with Amelie or La Haine. As for music, try listening to artists like Edith Piaf or Stromae. Perfect. Thanks for the suggestions. I think brushing up on my French will make the trip much more enjoyable. Definitely. Plus, locals always appreciate it. When you make an effort to speak their language... True. I'll get started on brushing up my skills right away. Can't wait for the trip. That's amazing. Have you seen the latest artwork by that new artist everyone's talking about? Yeah, I have. It's incredible, isn't it? Absolutely. The level of detail and creativity is just mind-blowing. I couldn't agree more. It's like each piece tells a unique story. And the way they use colors and textures is so captivating. That's what makes their work stand out. It's not just visually stunning, but it also evokes emotions and sparks imagination. I heard they're going to have an exhibition. 
next month showcasing their latest collection. That's amazing. I'll definitely mark my calendar for that. Yeah, me too. It'll be a great opportunity to see more of their work up close and maybe even meet the artist. I can't wait. Their talent deserves to be celebrated and appreciated by a wider audience. Agreed. It's going to be an event to remember, for sure. Let's shoot for the stars. Living life every day, late at night, not okay. All I want and I pray, all I need are some better days. Fuck me, I'm looking in the mirror, so foggy. Did you catch that documentary on space travel last night? Oh, the one about Mars colonization? Yes, it was fascinating how they plan to sustain life there. Makes you wonder about the future, doesn't it? Absolutely. It's like a whole new era of exploration. Imagine being one of the first to step onto another planet. That would be incredible. Speaking of which, I've been toying with the idea of taking some aerospace courses online. You know, just to understand the basics of astrophysics and engineering. That sounds ambitious. Are you thinking about a career change? Or just for fun? More for fun, I guess. But who knows where it might lead? Maybe it's not too late for a small shift. Let's shoot for the stars, right? Exactly. Why limit ourselves? If you're really into it, I say go for it. It's all about chasing those big dreams. True. Stepping out of our comfort zones is how we grow. Maybe one day we'll look back from a space station and laugh about this conversation. I'll hold you to that. Let's check those courses out together. Make it a little adventure. But I've never seen clearer. I don't really think anyone can save me. And honestly, I'm not. I'm so touched by your gesture. Hey, I just received the care package you sent over. The books and the gourmet coffee blend. I'm so touched by your gesture. I'm glad it reached you. I remembered you mentioned wanting to read more fiction, and I thought a good brew would complement your reading sessions perfectly. You nailed it. It's been ages since I took time to just sit and read. How did you even manage to find that rare book I've been looking for? A bit of online sleuthing. Plus, the bookstore owner was really helpful. When I explained it was for a friend who needed a lift, he dug it out from the back for me. That's incredibly thoughtful. I've been so swamped with work. It feels like a real treat to unwind. This means a lot, truly. Sometimes, we all need a little nudge to take a break. I hope the book transports you to another world and the coffee makes the journey smoother. It already has. Thank you. This was a wonderful surprise to my week. Speak to yourself. Guess what? I found a super fun way to boost my English skills. Oh, do tell. I hope it's not another flashcard app. Nope. It's speaking to myself. Sounds crazy, right? But it's like having an always available chat buddy who's very patient. Talking to yourself? That's your secret weapon. Exactly. I narrate my day, argue both sides of a debate, even try to crack jokes. It's like being my own English club. Ha! That does sound fun. But do you ever win those debates? Always. 
And here's the surprise twist. My accent's getting better because I'm not self-conscious. Plus, I can practice anytime, like cooking or showering. Showering? Really? Now that's multitasking. Imagine, today, I'm going to discuss the economy with the shampoo. Right? And the shampoo never interrupts. It's a perfect listener. This is genius. It's practice, entertainment, and self-discovery all rolled into one. I'm starting today. Maybe my toothbrush will help expand my vocabulary. Use English in fitness activities. Guess what? I've been using English in my fitness routine to learn the language. English with squats and push UPS. How does that work? Every time I do a squat, I count in English. And with each push up, I say motivational phrases, also in English. Sounds like a workout for your body and brain. But aren't you afraid of mixing up numbers? and ending up doing more squats than planned? Actually, that happened. I aimed for 20 but ended up at 30 because I got too into counting in English. Best mistake ever. That's one way to unintentionally level up your fitness game. What about the motivational phrases? Well, I once yelled, you can do it. Put your back into it. So loudly. My neighbor knocked to ask if I was starting a motivational podcast. I should try this. Combining fitness with learning English might finally make me remember the days of the week if I assign different workouts to them. Monday can be Muscle Monday. Just don't accidentally call it Muffin Monday. And eat muffins instead. Could you please lower the volume? Let's go. Yo, I'm like an addict. Do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet. Lose one. Could you please lower the volume? Sure. Is that better? A bit more, please. How's that? Perfect, thanks. No problem. Let me know if it's still too loud. Will do. I have a meeting in the next room, and I don't want to disturb them. Understandable. I'll keep it low. Thanks. I appreciate it. Is there anything else you need? Actually, could you also turn off the overhead lights? Sure thing. Thanks again. Happy to help. Just give me a shout if you need anything else. Will do. Thanks. No problem. Let's make it happen. Have you seen the plans for the new community garden? Yes, I did. It looks like a fantastic idea. Do you think we can get enough volunteers? I think so. A lot of people in the neighborhood are excited about it. We just need to organize a meeting to get everyone on board. That sounds good. When do you think we should hold the meeting? How about this weekend? We could gather at the park and discuss the plans. That works for me. We should also create a flyer and post it around the neighborhood to get the word out. Great idea. We can also share it on social media to reach more people. Exactly. The more visibility, the better. Do you think we need to reach out to local businesses for support? Definitely. They might be willing to donate supplies or even sponsor a part of the garden. Perfect. 
Let's make a list of potential sponsors and start contacting them. Let's make it happen. This garden could really bring the community together. Agreed. It's going to be a great project for everyone involved. Utilize language learning app. I've been using this language learning app to improve my English. It's actually become quite an adventure. Adventure? It's just an app, right? How adventurous can it be? Well, it started off normally, but then I discovered its social feature, where you can chat with native speakers. That sounds pretty standard for a language app. True, but here's the twist. I ended up chatting with a mystery novelist who's looking for someone to translate their book into my native language. Wait, what? How did that happen? Pure chance. We started chatting because we shared interests in detective stories. When I mentioned I'm learning English, they proposed the idea. So, you went from using an app to practice English to potentially translating a novel? Exactly. And the funniest part? The app randomly matched us based on our shared love for mystery novels. It's like it knew. That's incredible. From language learner to translator through an app. Talk about a plot twist. That's the way it goes. Did you hear about John's recent job interview? Yeah, he told me about it. Unfortunately, he didn't get the job. That's a shame. He seemed really excited about the opportunity. He was, but sometimes things don't work out the way we hope. That's the way it goes, I suppose. Job hunting can be tough. Absolutely. It's a competitive market out there. But I'm sure he'll bounce back. He's resilient and determined. I have no doubt about that. John has always been resourceful. Plus, every setback is a learning experience. He'll come out of this stronger and more prepared for the next opportunity. You're right. Sometimes, we have to face setbacks to appreciate our successes even more. Exactly. And who knows, maybe the right opportunity is just around the corner for him. Let's hope so. In the meantime, we'll be here to support him through this journey. Bring about, cause to happen. following the new city plan they're implementing to increase public green spaces i heard something about that they're trying to bring about more community involvement right exactly the goal is to not only beautify the city but also to improve air quality and provide more recreational areas for residents that's a great initiative do they have a timeline on when they expect to see significant changes the plan is phased over the next five years. They're starting with the areas that lack green spaces the most. It's a big project, but the long-term benefits could be substantial. It sounds like a well-thought-out plan. More green spaces can definitely bring about a better quality of life. 
Are they incorporating any feedback from the community? Yes. There have been several town hall meetings to gather ideas and suggestions from residents. It's a collaborative effort, which is fantastic. That's good to hear. Getting the community involved not only helps in better planning, but also makes people feel a part of the changes. Checking out. I'd like to check out, please. I stayed in room 408. Good morning. I hope you enjoyed your stay. Let me pull up your details. Just a moment. Sure, thank you. Here we are. Did you use any of the paid services? Like the minibar or room service? Yes, I did have a couple of items from the minibar last night. All right. I'll add that to your bill. Did you park a car with us? No, I didn't have a car. Okay. Your total comes to $340. How would you like to settle this? Can I pay with a credit card? Of course. Please insert your card and enter your PIN when you're ready. There you go. Perfect, that's gone through. Here's your receipt. Do you need help with your luggage? No, I'm traveling light, thanks. Could you call a taxi for me? Absolutely, I'll arrange it right now. Have a safe journey. That's music to my ears. Have you heard the latest update from our boss? No, what's the news? He announced that we're getting a bonus this quarter because of our team's performance. Really? That's music to my ears. We've been working so hard lately. I know, right? It's nice to see our efforts being recognized. Definitely. Do you know how much the bonus will be? Not yet. They'll provide the details in the upcoming meeting. Still, it's great news. I've been thinking about taking a short vacation. This bonus would help a lot. That sounds like a good idea. Where do you want to go? I'm thinking about a weekend trip to the beach. Just to relax and unwind. That sounds perfect. A little getaway is always refreshing. What about you? Any plans for the bonus? I might save it or invest in some new equipment for my hobby. I haven't decided yet. Either way, it's nice to have some extra funds. Absolutely. This news really made my day. I'm not interested. Have you heard back from the doctor about your test results? Yes, I have. And I'm so relieved to say that everything came back normal. That's fantastic news. I can imagine how worried you must have been. Absolutely. I couldn't stop thinking about all the possibilities while waiting for the results. It's understandable. Health concerns can be really stressful. Tell me about it. But now that I know everything's okay, it feels like a weight has been lifted off my shoulders. I'm really happy for you. It must be a huge relief to have that peace of mind. It definitely is. I'm grateful for the good news and for all the support I've received from friends and family during this time. Well, I'm just glad everything turned out well in the end. Here's to your continued good health. Cheers to that. And thanks again for being there for me.
I'll make a note of that. I'll make a note of that. Great, thanks. Also, could you include the details about the upcoming meeting? Sure thing. I'll add the date, time, and agenda points. Perfect. And don't forget to mention the location. It's at the main conference room, right? Yes. It's in the main conference room at 10 a.m. next Monday. Got it. Anything else we need to cover? We should touch on the budget report. It's due by the end of the week. Right. I'll make sure to have that ready. Oh, and let's also discuss the marketing strategy briefly. Okay. I'll add it to the agenda under Other Business. Sounds good. Thanks for taking care of it. No problem. Anything else? Not for now. We can finalize the rest during the meeting. Agreed. Well, I'll send out the updated agenda shortly. Showbiz. They tell me that I'm never gonna make it. They want me to do something that can make. I've been reading up on how tough the showbiz industry can be. What's been your experience in the field? It's definitely a roller coaster. Lots of uplis and downs. You need thick skin to handle the constant changes and the competition. Sounds intense. What do you think is the key to actually making it? Persistence is everything. Talent is important. But being able to keep going even when it's tough counts for just as much, if not more. Have you found that networking is as important as they say? Absolutely. It's often about who you know as much as what you know. Meeting the right people can open doors that otherwise would stay closed. That makes sense. Any advice for someone looking to get into the industry? Stay dedicated. Always be ready to learn. And don't underestimate the importance of a good impression. Oh, and always read your contracts carefully. Great advice, thanks. It sounds like a challenging but exciting world. It definitely is. If you love it, it's worth every effort. I'm so sorry to hear that. Did you hear about Sarah's dog? Apparently, it passed away last week. Oh no, I hadn't heard. That's terrible news. I'm so sorry to hear that. Yeah, it's been really hard on her. They were inseparable. Losing a pet is like losing a member of the family. I can't imagine what she's going through. Exactly. She's been feeling really down lately, understandably. Is there anything we can do to support her during this difficult time? I was thinking of organizing a small gathering at her place just to show her that we're here for her. That's a thoughtful idea. It's important for her to know that she's not alone. I'll reach out to some friends and see if they're available to come over this weekend. Count me in. I'll bring some food and drinks to share. Thanks. I'm sure she'll appreciate it. Let's make sure she feels surrounded by love and support. I need to recall. Step one, wake up early, gonna rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Hey, do you remember that restaurant we went to last year? Hmm, not really. Which one was it? It was the Italian place downtown. We celebrated your promotion there. Oh, right. Now I remember. 
That place had amazing pasta. Exactly. And do you recall the name of that dish we ordered? The one with the truffle sauce? Mmm. -hmm. I think it was called pasta a la trufa, or something like that. Yeah, that sounds about right. I've been craving it lately, but I couldn't remember the name to look it up. It was delicious, wasn't it? We should definitely go back there sometime. Definitely. Let's make plans for it soon. Oh, and also, do you remember who our server was? He was really friendly. I think his name was Marco. He did a great job taking care of us. Right, Marco. Thanks for helping me recall all these details. It was such a memorable evening. Step one, wake up, brother, gonna rise with the sun. Step two. Keep a journal. I've discovered a magical tool for learning English. It's like having a personal mentor who's always with you. Let me guess another app? Nope. It's simpler and way more creative. It's keeping a journal in English. A journal? How's that magical? Imagine this. Every day, you write about your adventures, thoughts, even your mundane moments. But in English, it's your story, your words. That sounds actually pretty cool. But what if my English isn't perfect? That's the beauty of it. It's your private universe. Mistakes are just part of the journey. Plus, you'll be amazed at how your language skills evolve. So I can write about anything? Even how I successfully cooked pasta without burning down the kitchen? Especially that. And imagine looking back and reading your first entries. You'll see. Not just how much your English has improved, but how you've grown. You know, that does sound magical. My own adventure book in English. I'm in. Changing seats. Excuse me. I'm in seat 14C and I was wondering if there are any available seats by the window that I could move to. Let me check for you. Are you looking for a window seat in the same class of service? Or would an upgrade be an option if available? I'd prefer to stay in the same class if possible. Just a moment, please. Yes, it looks like we have a window seat available in your class. It's 16A. Would that be okay? That sounds perfect, thank you. Great. I'll need your boarding pass to update your seat assignment. Here you go. Okay, you're all set. Here's your new boarding pass with the seat change. You can go ahead and move your belongings to 16A at your convenience. Thanks for sorting that out so quickly. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. Enjoy your flight and your new seat. Take off, start to fly. Have you ever been on a flight during a thunderstorm? Yes, once. It was quite an experience. The plane was shaking a lot as we took off. That sounds intense. Were you scared? A bit, but the pilots seemed very calm and professional. They reassured us that it was perfectly safe. I've never experienced that. How did the other passengers react? Most of them were calm, but you could see some nervous faces. Once we took off and got above the clouds, it was smooth sailing. I guess that's a relief. It's amazing how planes can just take off and fly through almost any weather. It really is.
The technology and skill involved are incredible. Do you like flying? I do, actually. I find it fascinating. Watching the plane take off and then seeing everything from above is always exciting. I agree. Despite that one stormy experience, I still enjoy flying. It's the fastest way to travel, and you get to see so many places. Exactly. Plus, there's something thrilling about feeling the plane take off and lift into the sky. How much is the fare? Is the fare? It's two dollars and fifty cents for adults, and one dollars and twenty-five cents for children under twelve. Okay, that's reasonable. Do you accept credit cards? Yes, we do. But there's a minimum purchase of five dollars for card transactions. Got it. I'll just pay cash then. Sure thing. Do you need a transfer ticket? No, I'm heading straight to my destination. All right, your total is two dollars and fifty cents. Here you go. Keep the change. Thank you. Your ticket is valid for two hours. Great. Thanks for letting me know. No problem. Is there anything else I can assist you with? That's all. Thank you. Have a nice day. Set aside to save or reserve for a particular purpose. Do you think it's important to set aside a portion of your income for savings? Absolutely. Setting aside money for savings is crucial for building financial security and preparing for unexpected expenses. It can be tempting to spend everything we earn, but setting aside even a small amount each month can make a big difference in the long run. Definitely. It's all about prioritizing our financial goals. And being disciplined with our spending habits. And it's not just about saving for emergencies, setting aside money for long-term goals like retirement, or buying a home is important too. Exactly. By setting aside funds regularly, we can gradually work towards achieving our financial aspirations. It requires a certain level of self-control, and planning to consistently set aside money for savings, doesn't it? Absolutely, but the peace of mind that comes from having a financial safety net makes it worth the effort. Agreed. Setting aside money for savings is an investment in our future selves, providing stability and freedom down the road. It's all in the timing. I heard you got that big promotion at work. How did that happen? Yeah, it was unexpected. I guess it's all in the timing. A higher position opened up just when I was looking for new opportunities. Lucky break, I suppose. What made you decide to go for it? Well, I've been preparing for a while and felt ready to take on more responsibility. When the chance came. I didn't hesitate. That's impressive. Some people wait forever for the right moment. True. Sometimes you have to create your own timing. But in this case, it aligned perfectly. And now that you're in the new role, how's it going? It's challenging, but I'm adapting, learning as I go. You know. You'll do great. I'm sure of it. It's all in the timing. And yours seems perfect. Thanks for the vote of confidence. 
I'll give it my all and make the most of this opportunity. Set specific goals for each day. Instead of a vague practice routine, set specific, achievable goals for each day. This could be learning 10 new words related to a particular theme, writing a short essay or story, having a 15-minute conversation in English, or listening to and understanding a news report. Specific goals help track progress and maintain motivation. It's all about the journey. Hey, I heard you're planning a big trip this summer. Yeah, I am. I've been saving up for it for a while now. That sounds exciting. Where are you headed? I'm going backpacking through Europe. I want to explore as much as I can. Wow, that's ambitious. You must have a lot of places on your list. Absolutely. I've got a long list of cities and landmarks I want to visit. But it's not just about checking off destinations, right? No, not at all. It's all about the journey. I want to meet new people, experience different cultures, and learn along the way. That's a great perspective. Traveling can be so enriching. Definitely. I think the memories and experiences I gather during the journey will be just as important as the destinations themselves. Well... I hope you have an incredible journey and make memories to last a lifetime. Thanks. I'm looking forward to it. It's all about the journey, after all. Hello, sunshine. Sunshine. Good morning. How are you today? I'm doing well, thank you. How about yourself? I'm feeling pretty good, thanks. It's always nice to be greeted with such positivity in the morning. I couldn't agree more. Starting the day with a cheerful greeting can really set the tone for the rest of the day. Absolutely. It's the little things that can make a big difference. So, any exciting plans for today? Not particularly. Just the usual routine. How about you? Same here. Work and errands. But I'm hoping to find some time to enjoy the sunshine later. That sounds lovely. It's always nice to soak up some vitamin D. Definitely. Well, I should probably get going. Have a wonderful day. It's all water under the bridge. Do you remember that argument we had last year? Yeah, I do, but honestly, it's all water under the bridge now. I'm glad you feel that way. I've been thinking about it, and it's time to move on. Absolutely. Holding on to grudges doesn't benefit anyone. I agree. Life is too short for unnecessary conflicts. So, are we good now? Yeah, we're good. It's all water under the bridge. And I value our friendship too much to let that argument define it. That's the spirit. Let's put it behind us and focus on the future. Agreed. Thanks for being understanding. No problem. We all have our moments. It's all water under the bridge. Thanks for being forgiving. It means a lot. You're welcome. Let's move forward and make more positive memories. That's not fair.
Did you hear about the new promotion at work? It seems like everyone except me got a raise. Yeah, I heard about it. It's disappointing, isn't it? Absolutely. I mean, I've been putting in the same amount of effort as everyone else, if not more, and yet I'm left out. That's not fair. Have you talked to your supervisor about it? I did. They said they would consider it, but I'm not too optimistic about it. I understand your frustration. It's frustrating when your hard work isn't recognized. Exactly. And it's not just about the money, it's about feeling valued and appreciated. I completely agree. Hopefully, they'll reconsider and recognize your contributions soon. I hope so too. Thanks for listening. Look forward to anticipate with pleasure. Are you still planning to go on that hiking trip next weekend? Yes, I'm really looking forward to it. It's been a while since I've had the chance to get away from the city and just enjoy nature. Which trail are you thinking about tackling? We're planning to hike up Mount Stanton. It's supposed to have incredible views at the summit, especially with the autumn colors in full display. That sounds amazing. I've seen pictures of the summit during the fall. The color palette is just breathtaking. I know. That's what I'm most excited about. Plus, the weather forecast looks perfect for hiking. Not too hot, not too cold. Perfect conditions indeed. I'm sure you'll have a great time. Make sure to take lots of photos. Definitely will. And I'm looking forward to the peace and quiet too. It's going to be a much needed break from the hustle and bustle. Absolutely. There's nothing quite like the serenity of being up in the mountains. Enjoy every moment. I have to keep my cool. Hey, did you hear about the meeting tomorrow? Yeah, I did. It's going to be intense. Our boss can be quite demanding. I know, right? But I have to keep my cool. I've prepared thoroughly for this presentation. Good call. Staying calm is crucial. I've seen people lose it in there before. I've learned from their mistakes. I'll stick to the facts and stay composed. That's smart. And if there are any tough questions, just remember to take a deep breath before responding. Absolutely deep breaths. I have to keep my cool no matter what. You got this? We'll both handle it like pros. Thanks, I appreciate the support. Let's go in there and knock it out of the park. Agreed. We'll show them what we're made of. I have to be on top of it. Have you started preparing for the upcoming exam? Yeah, I've been hitting the books pretty hard. I have to be on top of it to pass. Good call. Those exams can be tricky. Exactly, and I can't afford to fail this one. How are you managing your study schedule? I've created a detailed plan, allocating specific hours to each subject. I have to be on top of it to cover everything. Impressive. That level of organization should pay off. I hope so. It's just a lot of material to go through. Remember to take short breaks to recharge your mind. That's a good reminder. I have to be on top of my mental and physical well-being too. You're doing great. 
Keep up the hard work, and you'll be well prepared for the exam. Thanks. I appreciate your support. I have to be on top of it to achieve my goals. That's a breath of fresh air. I just started volunteering at the community garden on weekends. It's been a lot of fun. That sounds interesting. What made you decide to get involved there? I needed a break from my usual routine. Being outdoors, planting, and nurturing something, it's therapeutic. Plus, it's for a good cause. That's a breath of fresh air compared to the usual weekend activities like shopping or watching TV. Do they let you take any produce home? Yes, volunteers can take home fresh vegetables, and the rest we donate to local food banks. It's rewarding to see the fruits of our labor supporting the community. That's fantastic. It must be satisfying to contribute directly like that. I've been looking for something similar. Maybe I should give it a try. Definitely. You should come along next weekend. It's a great way to meet new people, and the garden could always use more hands. I think I will. Thanks for the suggestion. It sounds like a perfect way to relax and do some good at the same time. Good wishes for the day. wishes for the day. Thank you. Same to you. How are you feeling this morning? I'm feeling pretty good. Thanks for asking. Did you have a good night's sleep? Yes, I did, thankfully. I feel refreshed and ready to tackle the day ahead. How about you? That's great to hear. I slept well, too, although I wish I had gotten a bit more rest. But overall, I'm feeling optimistic about today. That's the spirit. Anything exciting planned for today? Not particularly. Just the usual routine. How about you? I have a few tasks to take care of and a meeting later in the afternoon, but nothing too out of the ordinary. Well, I hope everything goes smoothly for you today. Thank you. I wish the same for you. Let's make today a productive one. Write off, cancel from accounts as a loss. Have you ever had to deal with a car accident? Unfortunately, yes. Last year, someone hit my car while it was parked. It was pretty badly damaged. That sounds terrible. What happened with the insurance? After assessing the damage, they decided to write off the car. It was too expensive to repair compared to its value. That's frustrating. Did they give you a replacement or compensation? They gave me a payout based on the car's market value. It wasn't enough to buy a new one, but it helped with the down payment for a used car. At least you got something out of it. How's the new car? It's good. I like it even more than the old one. Sometimes things work out better than expected, even if they start off badly. True. It's always tough when you have to write off something, but it sounds like it turned out okay in the end. Yeah, it did. Now, I'm just more careful about where I park. No more accidents, hopefully. That's a good lesson. Glad it all worked out for you. Let's call it a day.
This project has been dragging on for weeks now. I think we've reached a point where we're just spinning our wheels. I agree. We've gone through every possible solution, and we're not making any progress. Let's call it a day. Sometimes stepping back and taking a break can provide us with fresh perspectives. That sounds like a plan. We can reconvene tomorrow with a clear mind and hopefully come up with a new approach. Exactly. It's important to know when to pause and regroup, especially when we're hitting a roadblock like this. Absolutely. We've put in a lot of effort, but sometimes pushing through without a clear direction can be counterproductive. Agreed. So let's wrap things up for today and come back with renewed energy tomorrow. Sounds good. Let's call it a day then. In the shoes and cap store. Excuse me, I'm looking for running shoes that are good for trail running. Do you have any recommendations? Yes. We have several models that are great for trails. Are you looking for something with extra grip or more cushioning? I think grip is more important for the trails I run on. They can get quite slippery. In that case, I'd recommend these here. They have excellent grip and are also quite durable. They're popular among trail runners. They look sturdy. Can I try them in size 10? Sure thing. I'll get them for you. Are you also looking for caps? We have some designed specifically for runners. Yes, that would be great. Something breathable. This cap here is made of a moisture wicking fabric and it's very light. Perfect for running. Would you like to try it on? Yes, please. And could you bring the shoes in black if you have them? Absolutely. I'll be right back with both items. Come in to enter a room or building. Did you see the new employee come in this morning? Yes, I noticed them arriving just as I was heading to my desk. They seemed a bit unsure of where to go. It can be overwhelming to come into a new workplace for the first time, not knowing anyone or where everything is located. Absolutely. I remember feeling the same way when I first came in here. It's important for us to make new employees feel welcome and help them navigate their way around the office. Definitely. Showing them around and introducing them to their colleagues can go a long way in easing their transition. And offering assistance whenever they need it can help them feel more comfortable and confident in their new environment. Agreed. We were all new at one point, so it's important to extend a helping hand to those who come in after us. Absolutely. Building a supportive and inclusive workplace culture starts with how we welcome and integrate new team members when they come in. How's everything? Hey, how's everything? Everything's going pretty smoothly. Thanks for asking. Just been keeping busy with work and trying to stay on top of things. I hear you. Work can definitely take up a lot of our time and energy. Yeah, but thankfully, it's been manageable lately. How about you? How's everything on your end? Can't complain too much. Dealing with the usual daily hustle, but nothing I can't handle. 
That's good to hear. Any exciting plans coming up? Not really. Just looking forward to some downtime over the weekend. Maybe catch up on some Netflix or hang out with friends. Sounds like a solid plan. It's important to take some time to recharge and relax. Absolutely. So, anything new happening in your life? Not particularly. Just trying to maintain some semblance of balance between work and personal life. Maybe squeeze in a little self care here and there. Well, don't forget to prioritize yourself amidst everything else. You deserve it. I'll try my best to remember. Did you finish the report for the meeting tomorrow? Yeah, I wrapped it up earlier today. Great! Did you include the sales projections? Yes, I made sure to incorporate them. It's all there. Perfect! And what about the budget breakdown? Yup, that's included as well. I outlined all the expenses and revenue estimates. Excellent! Thank you for taking care of it. No problem. I'll send it over to you so you can review before the meeting. Sounds good. Also, did you manage to schedule the client call for Thursday? Yes, it's set for 10 a.m. I'll send out the calendar invite shortly. Thanks for staying on top of everything. I appreciate it. Of course, just trying to keep things organized. Well, you're doing a great job. Keep it up. Participate in online forums and social media. They tell me that I'm never gonna make it. They want me to do something that could make sense. They hate when I keep dreaming I'll be famous. But I don't give a fuck, I'm gonna keep... I've been diving into online forums and social media to learn English. It's been quite the ride. Really? I'd have thought it's all trolls and memes. Does that actually help? Surprisingly, yes. But the real shocker was when I debated over a grammatical rule and it turned out I was arguing with a famous author. No way. Which author? Can't reveal names, but let's just say I've read all their books. Once they disclosed who they were, I thought they'd be furious with me. And were they? The opposite. They were impressed by my passion for the language and my arguments. Now, we're pen pals. You're joking. From an online debate to pen pals with a literary star? It gets better. They've invited me to a writing workshop they're hosting. Said it would be a great way to immerse myself in the language. That's amazing. Who knew a little online sparring could lead to such an opportunity? I'm feeling like I could use a break. Hey, you seem a bit worn out lately. Everything okay? I'm just feeling like I could use a break, you know? Things have been pretty hectic lately. I hear you. It seems like there's always something demanding our attention these days. Exactly! I feel like I've been running on empty for a while now. Maybe it's time to take a step back and give yourself some time to recharge. Yeah, I've been thinking the same thing. I just need to find a way to carve out some space for myself. It's important to prioritize self-care, especially when things get overwhelming. 
You're right. I think I'll try to schedule some downtime this weekend. That sounds like a plan. Remember, it's okay to say no to things if it means taking care of yourself. Thanks for the reminder. I'll make sure to listen to my body and give it the rest it needs. How are things? Hey, how are things? Things are going pretty smoothly. Thanks for asking. Just trying to stay on top of my to-do list and make progress on my projects. I can relate. It seems like there's always something demanding our attention, doesn't it? Absolutely. But I've been trying to stay organized and prioritize tasks to avoid feeling overwhelmed. That's a smart approach. How's your workload been lately? It's been manageable, thankfully. I've been trying to find a good balance between work and personal life. Finding that balance can be challenging, but it's so important for our well-being. Definitely. So, how about you? How are things on your end? Not too bad. Just trying to stay focused and motivated. You know, it can be easy to lose momentum sometimes. I hear you. Well, if you ever need some extra encouragement or support, I'm here for you. Thanks, I appreciate that. Same goes for you. Anytime you need a sounding board or a pep talk, just let me know. Speak in English. I've started speaking in English daily. It's like unlocking a new level in a game. Sounds fun. But what if you accidentally start speaking in English during a dream and wake up in a Shakespearean play? Then I'd be the star of the night. Imagine dreaming in iambic pentameter. How cool would that be? Incredibly cool. But imagine ordering your coffee in English and accidentally unleashing your inner British accent. I'd probably get my coffee with a side of sophistication. Maybe they'll start calling me sir or madam. Ha! Huh? What if your attempt to practice speaking turns your pet into an English-speaking sidekick? That would be epic! A bilingual pet would be the best conversation partner. No judgments, just pure practice. True! But imagine getting so into it, you start narrating your life in English, out loud, in public. I'd be the most interesting storyteller on the bus. Learning English through speaking turns every day into an unexpected adventure. It's like living in a comedy show. From dreams to pets and public narrations, speaking English really spices up life. Run into, encounter unexpectedly. Guess who I ran into at the grocery store yesterday? Who? Our old friend, Mark. I hadn't seen him in years. Really? How's he doing? He's doing great. We talked for a while. He's got a new job and just moved back to town. That's awesome. Did you make any plans to catch up? Yes. We exchanged numbers and agreed to meet for coffee next week. That sounds fun. It's always nice to reconnect with old friends. Absolutely. It was such a surprise running into him. Made my day. I bet. Did he mention what kind of job he's doing now? He's working in marketing for a tech company. 
He seems really happy with it. That's good to hear. Maybe we should all get together sometime. That's a great idea. I'll bring it up when we meet next week. Use language learning apps. Have you heard about the latest trend in learning English? It's like having a teacher in your pocket. Let me guess, another textbook? Yawn. Nope. It's using language learning apps. It turns your phone into a virtual classroom. You can learn anytime, anywhere. Sounds convenient, but I bet it's just drilling grammar and vocabulary. That's where the fun kicks in. These apps are like playing a game. You earn points, level up, and even compete with friends. It's learning without even realizing it. Compete with friends, you say? Now you've piqued my interest. But is it actually effective? Absolutely. They use spaced repetition, interactive challenges, and real-life dialogues. You're not just memorizing, you're using the language. Some even have chatbots to practice conversation. Chatbots? So I can flirt in English without embarrassing myself in real life? Exactly. Plus, imagine impressing someone with your smooth English skills. It's a win-win. Haha, <laughs> sign me up. Learning English and becoming a digital Casanova? What's not to love? Hold back to restrain or withhold. Live it life every day, let it die, not okay. All I want and I pray, all I need are some better day. Fuck me, I'm looking in the mirror, so foggy, but I've never seen clearer. I don't really think anyone can. Have you ever felt like you had to hold back your true feelings in a conversation? Absolutely, all the time. It's like there's this constant pressure to conform to societal expectations, even if it means suppressing your own thoughts and emotions. I know what you mean. It's frustrating, isn't it? Sometimes I feel like I'm not being authentic. When I hold back what I really want to say. Exactly. But then again, there are certain situations where it's necessary to hold back, like in professional settings or when dealing with sensitive topics. True. It's all about finding the right balance between expressing ourselves and respecting the feelings of others. Definitely. And learning when to hold back. And when to speak up is a skill that takes time to develop. Agreed. It's a delicate dance, but one that's important for maintaining healthy relationships and communication. What you want? Living life every day, late at night, not okay. Participate in online forums or social media groups. You'll never believe it. I joined this online forum to practice English, and I ended up in a debate about whether pineapple belongs on pizza in English. That's hilarious. Were you pro pineapple or anti pineapple? Pro, of course. But the fun part was using all these persuasive language techniques we learned. My favorite argument was pineapple on pizza transcends culinary boundaries, uniting sweet and savory. What about you? Found any fun groups? Absolutely. I stumbled upon a group dedicated to English puns. It's a pundemonium in there. Last week, they had a competition to create the best pun on food. Mine was I'm reading a book on anti gravity. It's impossible to put down. 
That's genius. These groups not only boost our English, but also unleash our creativity. Next time, we should collaborate on a pun. Imagine the uproar if we combine our wits. Definitely. And think about it. Every pun we make, every debate we join, we're actually mastering the language. English through laughter and creativity. Who would have thought? It's the best way to learn, hands down. From now on, let's hunt for the most bizarre groups. Who knows what we'll learn next? Show up, arrive, or appear at a place. Are you going to Emma's party this weekend? Yes, I am. Are you? Definitely. I heard it's going to be a big event. Do you know what time we should show up? The invitation says it starts at 7 p.m., but I think most people will start showing up around 7:30. That makes sense. I don't want to be the first one there. Did you decide on a gift yet? Yeah, I got her a nice set of wine glasses. She's been talking about getting some for a while. That's a great idea. I'm still deciding. Maybe I'll go with a gift card to her favorite store. She'd love that. Just make sure you show up with it wrapped nicely. She appreciates the effort. Good point. I'll make it look nice. By the way, do you know if there's a theme for the party? It's semi-formal, so we should show up dressed accordingly. Got it. I'll make sure to dress up a bit. Looking forward to it. Same here. It's going to be a fun night. See you there when you show up. I'll bear that in mind. I found this interesting article about renewable energy. Oh, really? That sounds intriguing. Yeah, it discusses the potential of solar and wind power in our region. I'll bear that in mind. It's essential to explore sustainable options. Absolutely. It's not just about the environment. There are economic benefits too. Definitely. Investing in renewables can create jobs and boost local economies. And it reduces our dependence on fossil fuels, which is crucial for long-term sustainability. Couldn't agree more. We need to prioritize renewable energy for a cleaner future. Agreed. We should encourage policymakers to support renewable initiatives. Absolutely. It's a step towards a more resilient and eco-friendly society. Exactly. Let's stay informed and advocate for sustainable solutions. Absolutely. Thanks for sharing that article. I'll definitely keep it in mind moving forward. That's beside the point. Did you hear about the changes to work policy? Yeah, I did. They're implementing stricter rules on remote work. I don't understand why they're doing this. We've been productive working from home. They claim it's about maintaining team cohesion, but that's beside the point. We've proven we can work well remotely. Exactly. Our performance metrics have been great. Even better than before. Right, and they're not considering the flexibility it offers us. It's been a game changer for my work-life balance. Same here. I save so much time and money by not commuting. Plus, they invested in all this remote work technology. Now it feels like a waste. 
Have you talked to the manager about your concerns? Not yet. I'm planning to bring it up at the next team meeting. We need to show them the benefits they're overlooking. Agreed. If enough of us voice our concerns, they might reconsider. Let's hope so. This change doesn't make sense for anyone. Definitely. We need to make sure our voices are heard. Cheer up, become happier. You look a bit down today. Everything okay? I've just been feeling a bit stressed out with everything going on. It's been a tough week. I'm sorry to hear that. Anything specific bothering you? It's a mix of work and personal stuff. Just feeling overwhelmed. I get that. Sometimes it all just piles up. Maybe we can do something to cheer you up. Like what? How about we go for a walk in the park? Fresh air always helps me feel better. Or we could grab some ice cream. That sounds nice. I think a walk might help clear my head. Great. Let's do that. And remember, things will get better. Sometimes you just need a little break to cheer up. You're right. Thanks for the suggestion. And for being there. Anytime. We're friends. After all, let's go get some fresh air and cheer up. Practice mindfulness in English. You know, I've started practicing mindfulness in English. It's like hitting two birds with one stone. Mindfulness in English. That sounds intriguing. How does it work? Well, I join online guided meditation sessions, all in English. Yesterday, the instructor used the phrase letting go of your thoughts like clouds passing in the sky, and it just clicked differently in English. That's quite poetic. I've been doing yoga in English. The instructor uses phrases like bend the willow, but don't break it, uh, referring to flexibility. It's surprisingly profound and helps my vocabulary. That's brilliant. It's like our minds and language skills are getting a workout simultaneously. Last session, I learned the term ephemeral while focusing on the moment. I love that. We should exchange notes on phrases we learn. It's funny how we're finding Zen and expanding our English lexicon at the same time. Definitely. Plus, explaining mindfulness concepts in English during our practice somehow makes the experience even more enriching. It's a unique way to language immersion. True. It's like we're mindfully meandering through English. Next, we should try a gratitude journal in English. Imagine the vocabulary we'd pick up. Great idea. From mindful meandering to grateful penning, our English journey continues. Who knew self-discovery could also be language discovery? In the clothes store. Hi, I'm looking for a casual blazer. Something that I could wear to work or out in the evening. Do you have anything like that? Absolutely. We have a few styles that would be perfect. Are you thinking about a particular color? I'm leaning towards navy or gray. Something versatile. Right this way. Here's a navy blazer that's been popular. It's lightweight and has a modern cut. Very versatile for both day and night wear. And next to it, we have a gray one that's a bit more structured. I like the look of the navy one. Can I try it on in a size medium? Of course. 
The fitting rooms are just over there. Let me grab a medium for you. Thank you. While you're trying that on, I can also find some shirts to go with it if you'd like. That would be great, thanks. I could use a few new shirts. Perfect. I'll bring a selection to your fitting room. Service on the plane. Excuse me, could I get a blanket? It's a bit chilly here. Of course, I'll bring one over right away. Would you like anything to drink as well? Yes, could I have a cup of tea, please? Absolutely. Would you like black tea or herbal tea? Herbal tea would be great. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll be back with your tea and blankets in just a moment. Here's your blanket and herbal tea. Is there anything else I can assist you with? No, that's perfect, thanks. Actually, wait, could I also have a small snack? Of course. We have pretzels, cookies, or fruit. What would you prefer? Some fruit would be nice. All right, I'll bring that right out for you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Just let me know if you need anything else. Call out, to challenge or shout in order to get someone's attention. Have you ever had to call out someone for their inappropriate behavior in a public setting? Yes. There have been instances where I felt it necessary to call out someone for making offensive remarks or behaving disrespectfully. It can be uncomfortable to confront someone like that, but sometimes it's necessary to address inappropriate behavior. Absolutely. Ignoring it only allows it to continue unchecked, potentially causing harm to others. That's true. Calling out inappropriate behavior sends a clear message that it's not acceptable and can prompt the person to reflect on their actions. And it's not just about standing up for oneself, it's also about advocating for a respectful and inclusive environment for everyone. Definitely. By calling out inappropriate behavior when we see it, we contribute to fostering a culture of mutual respect and accountability. Agreed. It's important to speak up and address issues as they arise rather than allowing them to persist unchecked. Welcome to a new day. Welcome to a new day. Thank you. It's good to be here. How are you today? I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. Did you have a good start to your morning? Yes, I did. I got up early, had a nice breakfast, and even managed to squeeze in a quick workout. How about you? That sounds productive. I had a bit of a slow start, but I'm ready to tackle whatever comes my way today. That's the spirit. Do you have anything exciting planned for today? Just the usual tasks and meetings. Nothing too out of the ordinary. What about you? I have a few errands to run and some work to catch up on, but nothing too crazy either. Well, I hope you have a productive day. Go on. To continue or proceed.
Did you hear about the project deadline? It got extended, so we have more time to work on it. Yes, I heard. That's a relief. I was worried we wouldn't be able to finish everything on time. I know what you mean. The extra time will definitely help us ensure that everything is done properly. Absolutely. Now we can go on with our work without feeling rushed or stressed. It's a good opportunity for us to review our progress and make any necessary adjustments. Definitely. We can go on with the project with a more relaxed mindset and focus on producing high quality results. And we can also use this extra time to brainstorm new ideas or solutions if needed. That's true. The deadline extension gives us the freedom to go on with the project in a more creative and strategic way. Overall, I think this extension will benefit the project and allow us to deliver our best work. Run by, explain something quickly for approval or feedback. Hey, do you have a minute? I wanted to run something by you. Sure. What's up? I'm planning a surprise birthday party for Jake next weekend. I wanted to run by the details with you to see if you think it'll work. That sounds fun. What do you have in mind? I was thinking of having it at his favorite restaurant. I've already spoken to the manager and they can reserve a section for us. I wanted to run by the guest list with you. That's a great idea. Who's on the list so far? I've got a few of his close friends from work, some old college buddies, and his family. Do you think I'm missing anyone? That sounds like a good mix. Maybe just make sure his best friend from high school is invited. I know they've stayed close. Good point. I'll add him. I also wanted to run by the menu options with you. The restaurant offered a set menu, but I'm not sure if it'll suit everyone. Let's take a look. If it's a set menu, we might want to ensure there are vegetarian options. That's exactly what I was thinking. Thanks for the feedback. I'll finalize the details and send out the invites. Sounds like a plan. Let me know. If you need any more help running things by someone. I'll have the same thing as her. I'll have the same thing as her. Sure. Would you like any modifications to it? No. Everything looks good as it is. Got it. And for your side dish? I'll go with fries, please. Fries it is. Anything to drink? Just water, please. Water it is. Your order will be ready shortly. Breakout to start suddenly often referring to a conflict or fire. Have you ever been in a situation where a disagreement escalated and turned into a full-blown argument? Oh, definitely. I've witnessed arguments break out over the smallest of things, and before you know it, tensions are running high. It's fascinating how quickly conflicts can break out, isn't it? Absolutely. Sometimes all it takes is a misunderstanding or a difference in opinion to spark a heated exchange. And once emotions start to run high, it can be challenging to de-escalate the situation before things spiral out of control. That's true. It's important to address conflicts calmly 
and respectfully to prevent them from breaking out into something more serious. Agreed. Effective communication and conflict resolution skills are essential for navigating situations where tensions threaten to break out. Definitely. By addressing issues promptly and constructively, we can prevent conflicts from breaking out and maintain harmonious relationships. Engage in active listening and shadowing. Beyond passive listening, try active listening exercises where you focus intently on what's being said and then attempt to shadow, repeat what you hear. This can be done with podcasts, speeches, or any spoken content in English. Shadowing helps improve your pronunciation, intonation, and fluency by mimicking native speakers. It's all up in the air. Have you heard anything about the company's future plans? Not really. It's all up in the air right now. They're still discussing their options. That's a bit unsettling. I hope they make the right decisions. Yeah, it's a bit nerve wracking not knowing what's coming next. I agree. We need some clarity on where things are headed. Absolutely. I think everyone's eager for some direction. Do you think there will be any major changes? It's hard to say at this point. It's all up in the air until they make an official announcement. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. That's all we can do for now. Well, let's hope for the best. It's all up in the air, but hopefully, they'll make choices that benefit everyone. Agreed. We'll just have to be patient and adapt to whatever comes our way. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Afternoon. How are you doing? Not too bad. Thanks. And you? I'm hanging in there. Got a lot on my plate today. Yeah, it seems like that's the norm lately. Tell me about it. Did you have a good morning? Yeah, it was all right. Managed to get some work done. That's good. I had a meeting most of the morning. Anything important? Just some updates on the new project. Ah, I see. Well, hopefully, it's progressing smoothly. Yeah, fingers crossed. So, any plans for the rest of the day? Not really, just tackling my to-do list. Same here. Well, if you need a break later, let me know. Will do, thanks. All right, better get back to it. Yeah, me too. Take care. That's a blast from the past. Hey, guess what I found while cleaning out my attic? Our old high school yearbook. No way. That's a blast from the past. Does it still have all those messages we wrote to each other? Yes, all the messages, signatures, and some very questionable fashion choices. It's like a time capsule. I can only imagine. I remember how serious we were about those yearbook quotes. What did I even write? Something about never changing and always staying friends. Pretty prophetic, huh? That sounds about right. And all the group photos, we were inseparable. Definitely. There's a picture of us at prom and another one from the science fair. You were always the brains of our operations. 
and you the charm. I think I still have some of those science fair trophies. My parents never let me live down that rocket fiasco. How could anyone forget? It was epic. I'm really glad we kept all these memories. They remind me of simpler times. Me too. Makes me think we should have a reunion sometime. Absolutely. Let's plan for it. It would be great to catch up in person and relive some of those moments. I'll make sure not to forget. Hey, I'm heading out of town next week for that conference. Could you water my plants while I'm away? Sure, no problem. I'll make sure not to forget. Thanks. I really appreciate it. They're just by the window, so they don't need much water. Got it. I'll add it to my daily routine. Also, could you remind me to pick up the dry cleaning tomorrow? Of course. I'll make a note of it. Thanks. I have a tendency to forget those things. No worries. I've got your back. Oh, and don't let me forget to RSVP for Sarah's birthday party next weekend. Consider it done. I'll remind you tomorrow. You're a lifesaver. I'd probably forget my own head if it weren't attached. Don't worry. I've got your head covered too. Break into Enter forcibly. Did you hear about the break in at the neighborhood store last night? No, I didn't. What happened? Someone tried to break into the store around midnight. They smashed a window and triggered the alarm. That's awful. Did they manage to steal anything? Luckily, no. The alarm scared them off before they could take anything. The police arrived quickly, but the thieves had already run away. I'm glad they didn't get away with anything. Is the store owner okay? Yeah, he's fine. Just a bit shaken up. He's already got someone to fix the window and is looking into better security measures. That's a good idea. It's scary to think someone would break into a local store like that. Definitely. It's made everyone in the neighborhood more cautious. We're all keeping an eye out for anything suspicious now. It's a good reminder to make sure our own homes are secure too. You never know when something like that could happen. Milk shoe, fly shoe, fly. I'm over the moon. Did you hear the news? I got accepted into my dream university. That's fantastic. Congratulations. I'm over the moon for you. Thank you so much. I can't believe it. I've been dreaming about this moment for years. It's well deserved. You've worked incredibly hard for this opportunity. I'm just so grateful for the support and encouragement I've received along the way. Your dedication and perseverance have paid off. You should be proud of yourself. I am beyond words. This is a major milestone in my life. And I can't wait to start this new chapter. It's going to be an amazing journey. You'll learn and grow so much during your time at university. I'm excited for all the possibilities that lie ahead. Thank you for celebrating this moment with me. Anytime. Here's to your bright future ahead. Drop out, quit a course, school, or activity.
I heard that Mike decided to drop out of the photography class. Did he say why? Yeah, he mentioned it wasn't what he expected. He was looking for something more advanced and felt the course was too basic for him. That's unfortunate. It's tough when the course content doesn't match your skill level. Is he planning to find another class? He's actually thinking about doing a workshop instead, something more hands-on and tailored to experienced photographers. That sounds like a better fit for him. Workshops can offer more direct feedback and faster improvement, especially for someone who already knows the basics. Exactly, and he's really committed to enhancing his skills. Dropping out of the first class might actually give him a better chance to focus on what he really needs. It's good he realized early enough to make a change without wasting more time. Finding the right learning environment can make such a difference. For sure. I'm just glad he's continuing to pursue his passion. It'll be interesting to see how his photography evolves after the workshop. That's a ray of hope. Don't wanna sleep in, cause I got something to prove. I gotta take what I hate and finally make a move. I heard they're finally starting to clean up the old river downtown. It's been polluted for years. Yeah, I saw that announcement too. They're bringing in a team to remove waste and treat the water. That's a ray of hope for the local wildlife. Absolutely. And not just for the wildlife. The whole community could benefit. Imagine having a clean river again, maybe even safe enough for swimming one day. It would certainly change the neighborhood. More people might visit, and it could inspire other cities to do the same. True. It's been a negative mark on the city for too long. It's encouraging to see some action being taken. I agree. It's important for our health and for the environment. Plus, it could be a great educational resource for schools. Definitely. Once it's cleaned up, I hope they keep up the maintenance. It would be great to see it thrive again. Yeah, keeping the momentum is key. Maybe this project will spark more environmental initiatives around here. It's all up to you. We have to decide on the location for our team building retreat. Well, we've narrowed it down to a few options, but ultimately, it's all up to you since you're in charge of organizing it. I appreciate your input though. What's your preference among the final choices? I think the mountain resort offers a great mix of activities and relaxation, but I'll support whatever you decide. All right, I'll take that into consideration. Thanks for your flexibility. No problem. Just let me know what you need from me. Speaking of which, we'll need someone to coordinate transportation. Do you mind taking care of that? Sure thing. I can handle that. It's all up to me to make sure everyone gets there smoothly. Thanks. I knew I could count on you. You're welcome. We'll make this retreat a success together. Let's agree to disagree. Have you seen the latest superhero movie that everyone's talking about? Yes, I did. I thought it was fantastic. The action scenes were incredible. Really? I felt like the story was all over the place. The plot didn't make much sense to me. I can see where you're coming from, but I think the visual effects and character development made up for it. I don't know. The characters felt pretty flat to me, especially the villain. There was no depth to his motivations. 
I actually liked the villain. His backstory was tragic, and it added a layer of complexity. I guess we just have different tastes in movies. I prefer a strong storyline over flashy effects. And I enjoy a visually stunning film with great action. It keeps me entertained. Well, let's agree to disagree. Everyone has their own preferences. Fair enough. It's what makes discussions about movies so interesting. Absolutely. Different perspectives can make the conversation more dynamic. Let's make a deal. I've been thinking about our upcoming project, and I believe we could benefit from collaborating more closely. I agree. It seems like our teams have been working in silos, which isn't efficient. Exactly. Let's make a deal to merge our teams temporarily to work on this project together. That sounds like a reasonable idea. But what are the terms of this deal? I suggest we designate team leaders from each side to oversee the collaboration and ensure smooth communication. That sounds fair. And how will we divide the workload? We can allocate tasks based on expertise and availability, ensuring everyone contributes effectively. Agreed. Let's make sure to set clear expectations and deadlines to keep us on track. Absolutely. And in return, we'll both commit to providing the necessary resources and support to make this collaboration successful. Deal. I think this joint effort will lead to better results and foster a stronger sense of teamwork. I couldn't agree more. Let's make it happen. Reflect on your learning at the end of each day. Spend a few minutes reflecting on what you've learned. This could involve reviewing new vocabulary, mistakes made, or insights gained. Reflection is a powerful tool for consolidating learning and planning future study sessions more effectively. By integrating these habits with your existing routine, you'll be able to tackle different aspects of language learning, from expanding your vocabulary and improving fluency to enhancing your understanding of cultural contexts. Remember, consistency is key, and small daily efforts can lead to significant improvements over time. I'll leave it up to you. We need to decide on the theme for the upcoming company event. Any ideas? How about a retro themed party? It could be a fun way to reminisce about the past. Hmm, that's an interesting suggestion. But do you think it would appeal to everyone? Good point. In that case, we could go for a more classic and elegant theme like a black tie affair. I see what you're saying. That could be a safer option. But ultimately, it's up to you, since you're heading the planning committee. Well, I appreciate your input, but I'll leave it up to you as well. What do you think would be the best fit for our team and guests? I think a black tie event sounds like a great choice. It's sophisticated yet inclusive. Agreed. Let's go with that then. Thanks for your input. Of course, happy to help. Let's make this event one to remember. I'm on the fence about it.
Did you hear about the new gym opening downtown? Yes, I did. They're offering some pretty enticing membership deals. Are you thinking about joining? I'm on the fence about it. I already have a membership at the local gym, but this new one looks impressive. What makes you hesitant? Is it the cost or something else? It's a bit of both. The new gym has state of the art equipment and more classes, but it's also more expensive. That's understandable. Have you considered doing a trial membership first? I thought about it. They do offer a one week free trial, which might help me decide. That sounds like a good plan. You can get a feel for the place and see if it's worth the extra cost. True. I just need to find the time to go and check it out. I can go with you if you want. It might be more fun to try it out together. That sounds great. Let's plan a day to visit the new gym and see if it's a good fit. Perfect. We can compare it to your current gym and make a decision from there. Agreed. Thanks for the suggestion. Let's do it. Take after. Resemble a family member. I ran into your brother the other day. You two really take after each other. Really? People often say we look alike. Do you think so too? Definitely. You both have the same smile and those blue eyes. It's clear you take after each other. That's funny. I always thought I took after our mom more, especially in personality. Now that you mention it, you do have her sense of humor. But in terms of looks, you and your brother are almost identical. Yeah, I guess I can see that. He takes after her dad more with his interest, though. He is really into cars, like our dad was. It's interesting how that works. Do you and your brother get along well? For the most part, yes. We have our differences, but we also have a lot in common because we take after our parents in different ways. That's nice. It's always good to have family you can relate to. Absolutely. It makes family gatherings more enjoyable when you have shared interests and traits. Totally. It's always fascinating to see how family traits get passed down. I agree. Genetics are really something. Fall through, fail to happen or complete. Hey, how did your plans for the weekend turn out? Actually, they fell through. We were supposed to go camping, but the weather was terrible. That's disappointing. What happened? It started raining heavily on Friday night, and the forecast said it would continue all weekend. We decided it wasn't worth the risk. Makes sense. Camping in the rain is never fun. Did you make any backup plans? Not really. Since our original plans fell through, we just ended up staying home and watching movies. That sounds relaxing, at least. What did you watch? We watched a few classics and some new releases. It turned out to be a nice, low key weekend. Sometimes those unexpected changes can be a good thing. Any plans to reschedule the camping trip? We're thinking about it. Maybe next month, if the weather is better. That sounds like a good idea. Hopefully, it won't fall through next time. What's new? Hey, what's up? Not much. 
Just been catching up on some reading lately. How about you? Same here. Trying to get through a couple of books I've had on my list for a while. Any good ones you've come across? Actually, yes. I recently finished a novel by a new author I discovered. It's a gripping mystery thriller with unexpected twists. Sounds intriguing. What's it called? It's called The Shadow of Doubt by Sarah Collins. Highly recommend it. If you're into suspenseful reads. Thanks for the recommendation. I'll definitely check it out. Aside from reading, anything else keeping you occupied? Not really, just the usual routine of work and trying to find time for hobbies. What about you? Anything exciting happening lately? Not particularly, just trying to stay productive and make progress on some personal projects. But maybe I'll pick up that book you mentioned to spice things up a bit. Hold off, delay, wait to take action. Did you decide to buy that new car you were talking about last week? I'm actually going to hold off on that purchase for now. I've been looking at my finances, and it might be smarter to wait a bit longer. That sounds prudent. What's making you reconsider at this point? Well, there's talk of a new model coming out early, next year with enhanced features and better fuel efficiency. It might be worth waiting a few extra months. Makes sense. Plus, the price on the current models might drop once the new one is released. Exactly. And in the meantime, I can save up a bit more money. Hopefully, that will allow me to make a larger down payment and reduce the loan amount. It sounds like holding off could definitely work in your favor then. It's tough to wait, but it seems like the smart move. It is a bit tough, especially when I was looking forward to a new car, but I think it's the right decision financially. Just a bit more patience, I guess. How are you this fine morning? this fine morning. I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. How about yourself? I'm feeling pretty good, thanks. It's nice to see the sun shining and birds chirping. Yes, it's a beautiful morning indeed. Makes you feel grateful to be alive. Absolutely. So, any plans for today? Just the usual. Work, some errands, and maybe catching up with a friend later. In the evening. How about you? Same here. Nothing too exciting. But I'm hoping to take a walk in the park during my lunch break. That sounds like a nice way to break up the day. It's important to find some time for relaxation and fresh air. Definitely. Well, I should probably get going now. Have a wonderful day. I'm so fed up with this. They tell me that I'm never gonna make it. They want me to do something that could make sense. They hate when I keep dreaming. Have you finished the project report yet? Not yet. I'm so fed up with this. It seems like every time I make progress, there's another change or new request. I know what you mean. The constant revisions are exhausting. Exactly. It feels like we're never going to get it done at this rate. Have you talked to the manager about it? Maybe we can get some clarity on the final requirements. I tried, but he just keeps saying to stay flexible and adapt as needed. That's frustrating. We need a clear direction to work efficiently. Yes. 
And the deadlines aren't changing even though the scope keeps expanding. Maybe we should request a meeting to discuss this as a team. It's not just you feeling overwhelmed. That's a good idea. If we all express our concerns, they might realize how unmanageable this has become. Let's do it. We can't keep working like this without any structure. Agreed. I'll send out a message to everyone to arrange a meeting. Perfect. Hopefully, we can get some clarity and move forward more effectively. It's essential the grind is all in your mental and I don't think you understand what I'll go through. I'm so ecstatic for your news. I just got the email. I'm officially accepted into the master's program I applied for. Really? That's incredible. I'm so ecstatic for your news. Which university is it again? It's at Stanford. I still can't believe it. I've been dreaming about this for so long. Stanford, wow. That's a big deal. You're going to have so many amazing opportunities there. What are you planning to specialize in? I'll be focusing on renewable energy systems. It's a field I'm really passionate about, especially with all the current environmental challenges. That's such an important area to be involved in right now. The world needs more dedicated people like you. Thanks. I'm just excited to contribute and learn as much as I can. Plus, being in such a dynamic environment will be inspiring. Definitely. You're going to do great things. Remember us when you're a leading expert in the field. I won't forget. And I'll need all the support I can get. Maybe you can visit me on campus? Count on it. I wouldn't miss it for the world. I have a photographic memory when it comes to They tell me that I'm never gonna make it They want me to do something that can make sense They hate when I keep Hey, do you remember the address of that bookstore we visited last summer? Hmm, I can't seem to recall it. Why do you need it? I want to recommend it to a friend. It had a great selection of rare books. Ah, I see. Well, I'm not sure, but it was somewhere near the park, right? Yes, that's correct. It was on the corner of Maple Street. Oh, now I remember. It was called Bookworm Haven. Exactly. And do you recall the owner's name? She was really knowledgeable about literature. I think her name was Emily. She had curly hair and glasses, right? Yes, that's her. Emily was so helpful. Thanks for helping me remember. No problem. You know, you have a photographic memory when it comes to places we've been to. Yeah, it's weird how I can remember those details so vividly. It's definitely a handy skill. Let me know if you need help remembering anything else. How are you feeling today? Hey, how are you feeling today? I'm feeling pretty good. Thanks for asking. Had a decent night's sleep and woke up feeling refreshed. How about you? That's great to hear. I'm feeling all right. A bit tired, though. Didn't get much sleep last night due to some unexpected noise in the neighborhood. Ah, that's rough. Hopefully, you can catch up on some rest later today. Yeah, I'm hoping so, too. Aside from that, everything's been going smoothly. Any exciting plans for the day? Not really, just the usual routine. Work during the day, and maybe a workout in the evening. How about you? 
pretty much the same, got a few tasks to tackle at work, and then, probably, some time to unwind in the evening. Sounds like a plan. Well, if you need any help with anything, feel free to reach out. Thanks, I appreciate it. Likewise, if there's anything I can assist you with, just let me know. Sizes and inches. I'm trying to figure out what size of TV would fit best in my living room. Do you know how to calculate that? Sure. A good rule of thumb is to measure the distance from your seating area to where you'll place the TV, then divide that by 2.5. That will give you an approximate ideal screen size in inches. Okay, so if my couch is 10 feet from the TV area, that would be 120 inches divided by 2.5, right? Yes, exactly. That comes out to about 48 inches. So a 50-inch TV should be perfect for your space. That makes sense. And what about the resolution? Should I go for 4K? If you're getting a TV around 50 inches and it's within your budget, I definitely recommend 4K. It'll make a noticeable difference in picture quality, especially at that size. Great advice, thanks. I'll look into the 4K models then. You're welcome. Enjoy your shopping. Hang on, wait a short time, hold tightly. Did you remember to bring the tickets for the concert tonight? Yes, I have them right here. Hang on, let me find them in my bag. All right, no rush. We still have plenty of time before we need to head out. Here they are. I made sure to put them in a separate pocket so they wouldn't get lost. Great thinking. It's going to be crowded. We should probably hold on to them tightly until we get inside. Definitely. Last time I went to a concert, it was so packed I almost lost my phone. I'll keep the tickets in my hand until we're through the gate. Good idea. And maybe we should grab something to eat before we go. The lines for food inside are always so long. That sounds perfect. There's that new burger place that opened up nearby. We could stop there. Let's do that. Hang on a second. I'll text Dave to see if he wants to join us for dinner too. Set specific goals for each day. I've started setting specific daily goals to learn English, and it's turned into quite the adventure. Specific goals? Like what? For instance, yesterday's goal was to learn five new idioms and use them in conversations online. Sounds practical. Did it go as planned? Well, I ended up using one in a comment on a famous musician's social media post, not expecting much. And? The musician replied. They found my use of the idiom hilarious and asked if they could quote me in their next album's lyrics. No way! That's incredible! Your English practice got you into an album? Exactly! Today's goal was to use English in a real-world situation, so I went to a tourist spot in my city. Let me guess, you ended up giving a tour? Spot on! A group of English-speaking tourists thought I was a guide. They were so impressed, they tipped me. From learning idioms to accidental tour guide, your method is full of surprises.
Look forward to, to anticipate or await eagerly. Have you made any plans for the upcoming vacation? Yes, I have. I'm really looking forward to visiting my family in the countryside. That sounds like a wonderful trip. I'm sure you're excited to spend time with your loved ones and enjoy the peaceful surroundings. Absolutely. It's always nice to escape the hustle and bustle of the city and reconnect with nature and family. I can imagine. There's something special about being surrounded by greenery and fresh air. Definitely. I'm already picturing myself sitting on the porch, sipping a cup of tea, and catching up with my relatives. It sounds like a relaxing and rejuvenating getaway. It is. I've been looking forward to this trip for months, and I can't wait for the day to finally arrive. Well, I hope you have an amazing time. It sounds like it'll be a memorable vacation. I'll give it a try. Have you ever considered learning a new language? I've been thinking about picking up Spanish. Spanish? That sounds like a challenging yet rewarding endeavor. Yeah, I've heard it's beneficial for travel and career opportunities too. Definitely. Plus, it opens up a whole new world of literature, films, and music. Exactly. I think it would broaden my horizons and help me connect with more people. Well, why don't you give it a try? There are plenty of resources available online and in-person classes too. You know what, you're right. I'll give it a try. Even if it's difficult at first, I'm sure the effort will be worth it in the end. That's the spirit. Learning a new language is all about perseverance and practice. Thanks for the encouragement. I'm excited to embark on this language learning journey. No problem. I'm here to support you every step of the way. How's life treating you? Hey, how's life treating you? Life's been treating me fairly well. Thanks for asking. Just navigating through the usual UPS and downs, you know? Yeah, life has a way of throwing us curveballs when we least expect it. Absolutely. But I've been trying to maintain a positive outlook and tackle challenges head on. That's the spirit. It's all about resilience and perseverance. Definitely. So, how about you? How's life been treating you lately? Can't complain too much. Been staying busy with work and personal projects, but overall, things have been pretty good. That's great to hear. Any exciting developments on the horizon? Nothing major at the moment. Just trying to take each day as it comes and make the most of it. Wise approach. Well. If you ever need someone to bounce ideas off or just chat about life, you know where to find me. Thanks, I appreciate that. Likewise, feel free to reach out anytime. Engage in English language exchanges online.
Guess what? I signed up for this online English language exchange, and my partner is a circus performer. No way. That sounds incredibly fun. Did you learn any cool phrases? Absolutely. But not just phrases. I learned how to say juggling in three languages, and even taught them how to say trapeze artist in English. It's like our vocabulary sessions are an international circus. That's so unique. I joined one too, but my partner is a magician. Last session, he made words disappear by teaching me synonyms. One second, it's vanish. The next, it's evaporate. That's brilliant. We should exchange notes. Maybe we can learn how to describe magic tricks and circus acts in English. Definitely, and imagine the stories we can tell. Today English, tomorrow. Who knows? Maybe performing arts. Learning English has never been this entertaining. Next time, I'll ask my partner to teach me circus lingo in exchange for idioms. A piece of cake will surely get a fun twist. We've distilled the most effective, innovative, and surprisingly fun methods into a guide that will not only enhance your language skills, but will also keep you engaged and motivated. Whether you're a beginner or looking to polish your proficiency, these routines are designed to fit into your daily life, making learning seamless and enjoyable. Join us on this exciting journey to unlock your potential. And discover the secrets to mastering English. Let's wrap it up. Go, even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, 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 go. We've been discussing the marketing strategy for. The new product for quite some time now. Yeah, we've covered a lot of ground, but I think we've reached a point where we've addressed all the key aspects. Agreed. Let's wrap it up by summarizing our main points and decisions. We've agreed on targeting a younger demographic and focusing on digital marketing channels, right? Yes, that's correct. We'll also allocate a significant portion of the budget to social media advertising. And we've decided on the launch date, and the promotional activities leading up to it. Exactly. Everything seems to be in order. Let's wrap it up by finalizing the timeline, and assigning specific tasks to each team member. Sounds like a plan. Once we have that sorted, we can circulate the finalized marketing plan to the team for their input and approval. Agreed. Let's aim to have everything finalized by the end of the day. Let's wrap it up then, and get to work on those final details. Get along with, have a good relationship with. How's your new roommate working out? Surprisingly well. I wasn't sure at first, but we get along with each other pretty great. That's good to hear. What do you think makes it work? I think it's because we have similar habits and interests. We both like to keep things clean, and we enjoy the same TV shows. That definitely helps. Have you guys done anything together outside of the apartment? Yeah, we went hiking last weekend, and it was a lot of fun. It's nice to have someone to do activities with. Sounds perfect. It's always a relief when you get along with your roommate. Makes living together so much easier. Absolutely. I've had roommates in the past that I didn't get along with, and it was really tough. I can imagine. So, any plans for the weekend with your new roommate? We're thinking about checking out that new cafe downtown. I've heard they have great coffee and pastries. That sounds like a great idea. Enjoy your time, 
and keep building that good relationship. White as snow, and everywhere that there... Checking in before boarding a plane. Excuse me, is this the line for flight 312 to Chicago? Yes, you're in the right place. Are you checking any bags today? Just this one suitcase. All right, I can take that for you. Do you have your ID and boarding pass ready? Yes, here they are. Thank you. Let's get your suitcase tagged. There you go, it's all set to go to Chicago. You can hand it over at the drop-off point just there. Thanks. By the way, which gate do we board from? You'll be boarding from gate 24. Boarding starts in about 40 minutes. So you have some time. Is there a delay, or is it scheduled like this? It's scheduled this way. You might want to grab a coffee or snack. There are several cafes nearby. Great. Thanks for your help. No problem. Have a safe flight. Let's hit the road. I love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running. I Have you seen the weather forecast for this weekend? It's supposed to be perfect. Yes, I did. It's going to be sunny and warm. Do you have any plans? Not yet, but I was thinking we should take advantage of it. How about a road trip? That sounds awesome. Do you have a destination in mind? I was thinking about driving up to the mountains. We could hike and maybe camp overnight. I love that idea. The mountains are beautiful this time of year. When do you want to leave? How about early Saturday morning? We can pack the car tonight and be ready to go. Perfect. I'll get my hiking gear and camping equipment ready. Great. I'll take care of the food and drinks. Anything specific you want to bring? Just the essentials. Maybe some snacks for the road. And marshmallows for the campfire. Sounds good. Let's hit the road and make the most of this weather. Agreed. It's going to be an amazing trip. I can't wait. Engage with English instructional videos for DIY projects. Guess what I stumbled upon yesterday? A DIY project video, but it's all in English. I thought it would just improve my crafting skills, but my English is getting sharper too. Really? That sounds surprisingly fun. Last time I tried to learn English. It was through those dull textbooks. Can you actually build something cool? Oh, absolutely. I built a birdhouse and learn words like hammerized nail and measure in the process. It's like hitting two birds with one stone, learning English, and becoming a DIY master. Ha! <laughs> That's clever! I would have never thought learning English could be so hands-on. What's next on your project list? A small bookshelf. And the twist? The instructions are only in English. I'm challenging myself, but there are subtitles too. Just in case. Count me in. This weekend, we're turning English lessons into a carpentry workshop. Who knew learning could be this much fun and productive? Exactly. And who knows? We might just end up building our entire furniture while becoming fluent in English. It's important that I remember.
I need to remember to submit the quarterly report by the end of the day. Got it. It's important that I remember. Thanks. It's crucial for our department's performance review. I'll make a note to remind you if needed. Also, can you remind me to call the client about the upcoming meeting tomorrow? Sure thing. It's important that I remember. Thanks. I don't want to miss any details. No problem. I'll keep it in mind. And don't let me forget to review the presentation slides for Monday's meeting. Consider it done. It's important that I remember. Great. I appreciate your help with all these reminders. Anytime. Just let me know if there's anything else you need me to remember. Rise and shine. and shine. How are you feeling this morning? Good morning. I'm feeling a bit groggy, but I think I'll wake up soon enough. How about you? I'm feeling pretty good. Thanks for asking. Did you have a good night's sleep? It was all right, although I did have some trouble falling asleep. I kept tossing and turning. Ah, uh, that's never fun. Maybe you should try some relaxation techniques. Before bed to help you unwind. Yeah, I think I'll give that a try tonight. Do you have any recommendations? Well, you could try some deep breathing exercises or listen to calming music. Sometimes a warm bath before bed can also help. Those all sound like good ideas. I'll give them a shot. Thanks for the suggestions. No problem. I hope they help you get a better night's sleep tonight. Me too. Well, I should probably get going. Have a great day. Turn up, appear unexpectedly. Did you hear about Sarah? She turned up at the reunion last night out of nowhere. Really? That's a surprise. She wasn't even on the RSVP list, was she? No, she wasn't. She just appeared unexpectedly. It was quite the shock for everyone, especially since she moved abroad years ago. How was seeing her after all this time? It was great. She hasn't changed much and had so many stories to share about her life overseas. It really livened up the evening. That sounds like a highlight. I wish I could have been there to see that. Sarah always had a knack for making an entrance. Did she say what brought her back? She mentioned that she was in town for a week visiting family and decided to check if the reunion was happening. Good timing, I guess. Perfect timing, indeed. It's those unexpected moments that really make events like that memorable. Maybe next time we'll both turn up and surprise everyone. That's a great question. Have you decided on a destination for your summer vacation yet? Not yet. I'm torn between going to the mountains or the beach. What about you? I'm leaning towards a beach vacation. There's something so relaxing about the ocean. That sounds nice. But what do you usually do at the beach? Just swim and sunbathe? Mostly, but I also enjoy activities like snorkeling and paddleboarding. How about you? What do you do in the mountains? Hiking and exploring nature are my favorite things. Plus, the cool mountain air is refreshing. That's true. I guess it comes down to whether you prefer relaxing or being active. What do you think you'll enjoy more? That's a great question. I love the idea of relaxing on a beach, but I also don't want to miss out on an adventure. 
Maybe you could find a destination that offers both. Some places have mountains near the coast. That's a fantastic idea. I'll look into destinations that offer the best of both worlds. Sounds like a plan. Let me know what you find. Maybe I'll join you. Will do. Thanks for the suggestion. Play language learning games. So, I've discovered the most fun way to learn English through language learning games. Yesterday, I played a game where I had to escape a room by solving puzzles in English. That sounds amazing. I tried something similar, but it was a detective game where I had to interview characters and solve clues, all in English. Felt like Sherlock Holmes. Oh, I've played that too. Did you manage to solve the mystery of the missing cake? Yes, but the twist was hilarious. The cake wasn't stolen. It was eaten by the detective's own dog. Classic! I played another game where you cook recipes from around the world. But here's the catch. All the recipes are in English, and you have to understand the instructions to win the dish. That's both hunger-inducing and educational. We should have a game night, but with these English learning games, Imagine the vocabulary we'd pick up by traveling the world and solving mysteries. Absolutely. Learning English has never been this adventurous. Next, we'll be talking like native speakers and master chefs. Take up to start or begin something new. Have you ever wanted to take up a new hobby or learn a new skill? Absolutely. There are so many things I've been interested in trying, but I never seem to find the time to actually take them up. It can be challenging to carve out time for new pursuits, especially with our busy schedules. Exactly. But I think it's important to make time for activities that bring us joy and fulfillment. That's true. Taking up a new hobby can be a great way to unwind and explore interests outside of work or other responsibilities. And it's never too late to start. Whether it's painting, playing an instrument, or learning a new language, there are endless possibilities for things to take up. Absolutely. The key is to find something that excites us and commit to making it a regular part of our lives. Agreed. By taking up new hobbies, we can enrich our lives and discover new passions along the way. I'm feeling like I need some rest. Hey, have you been feeling all right lately? Not really. I've been feeling exhausted lately, like I need some serious rest. Ah, that sounds tough. Maybe you should consider taking a break. You know, just some time to unwind and recharge. Yeah, I've been thinking about that. I feel like I've been pushing myself too hard lately, and it's starting to catch up with me. It's important to listen to your body and give it the rest it needs. Burnout is no joke. You're right. I guess I just get caught up in everything going on and forget to take care of myself. It happens to the best of us. Just remember, taking breaks isn't a sign of weakness. It's a necessity for maintaining your well-being. Thanks for the reminder. I'll make sure to prioritize rest from now on.
It's an open book. How do you feel about your upcoming performance review? I'm not too worried about it. I've been keeping my manager updated on my progress regularly, so it's an open book. That's a good approach. Transparency can make the process smoother. Exactly. There won't be any surprises during the review. Have you set any specific goals for it? Yes, I've discussed my objectives and areas for improvement with my manager. It's an open book in terms of expectations. That sounds like a proactive way to approach it. I believe in being open and honest about my performance and goals. It's a good practice. It helps both you and your manager align on what's expected. Agreed, and it makes the review process more constructive. Well, I hope it goes well for you. With your approach, it's likely to be a positive discussion. Thanks. I appreciate your support. I'm confident it will be a productive conversation. Turn around to reverse or change direction. Have you ever experienced a situation where things seemed bleak, but then suddenly there was a turnaround? Absolutely. There have been times when it felt like everything was going wrong, but then something unexpected happened to completely turn around the situation. It's fascinating how quickly things can change, isn't it? Definitely. It reminds us that life is full of UPS and downs. And even the most challenging circumstances can turn around in an instant. And sometimes, all it takes is a shift in perspective or a bit of luck to bring about a turnaround. That's true. It's important to remain hopeful and resilient, even in the face of adversity, because you never know when things might turn around for the better. Absolutely. It's all about staying patient and keeping faith that a turnaround is possible, no matter how dire the situation may seem. Agreed. A positive outlook and perseverance can often lead to remarkable turnarounds that defy all expectations. May your efforts bear fruit. How's the new project coming along? Last time we spoke, you were just getting started. It's going well, but there's still so much to do. We're in the early stages, planting the seeds, so to speak. That's the most critical part, getting the foundation right. May your efforts bear fruit. Thank you. I'm hoping we start seeing some results soon. We've been working on community outreach and building partnerships. It sounds like you're making smart moves. What's the next big step for you? Next, we're launching a pilot program. It will be a test to refine our approach based on real-world feedback. That's a great strategy. Testing and adapting is key to any successful initiative. Exactly. We need to know what works and what doesn't, especially before we scale up. Well, it sounds like you're on the right track. Keep pushing forward, and I'm sure you'll see the rewards of your hard work. I sure hope so. Thanks for the encouragement. It's going to be a busy few months. Throw up, vomit.
Have you ever been on a really rough boat ride? Yes, actually. Last summer, we went deep sea fishing, and the waves were intense. I thought I was going to throw up the whole time. That sounds awful. Did you end up getting seasick? Unfortunately, yes. I tried to keep it together, but after a while, I just couldn't hold it in, and had to throw up over the side of the boat. Oh no! How did everyone else handle it? Most of them were fine, but a couple of others also started to feel sick. The crew was really helpful, though. They gave us some ginger candies and water. That must have helped a bit. Did you manage to enjoy any part of the trip? Once the waves calmed down, and I stopped feeling queasy, I actually had a good time. We caught some big fish, and the sunset on the water was beautiful. I'm glad it turned around for you. I guess that's the risk with any boat ride, especially in the open sea. Definitely. Next time, I'll be better prepared with seasickness medication. In the flea market. Excuse me, how much are these vintage comic books priced at? Those are five dollars each. But if you buy more than five, they go down to three dollars each. That's a good deal. I'll definitely take a few. Do you have any from the early 90s? Yes, right over here in this box. I have several issues from that era. Feel free to dig through them. Thanks. Do you get new collections often? Pretty regularly. I pick up new stuff from estate sales and auctions every month. So the selection keeps changing. Great, I'll check back then. Oh, and what about these old records? How much are those? The records are $10 each. But if you find any that aren't in the best condition, I can give them to you for $7. I'll take a look. Thanks for the information. No problem. Enjoy browsing. And let me know if you have any other questions. Shut up. Stop talking. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, 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 go. Did you watch the game last night? Yes, I did. It was incredible. The last minute goal was unbelievable. I know, right? I couldn't believe it. The whole place went wild. My friends wouldn't shut up about it. They kept replaying the highlights over and over. That's hilarious. I can imagine. It's one of those moments that gets everyone talking. Yeah, but after a while, no why e. I just wanted them to shut up so we could focus on something else. It was a bit much. I get that. Sometimes people get too carried away. What did you think of the team's overall performance? I thought they played really well, especially in the second half. They seemed more organized. I agree. They really pulled it together after halftime. What about the other team? They were strong, but our team just had that extra edge. I'm running late. They tell me that I'm never gonna make it They want me to do something that can make sense They hate when I keep dreaming I'll be famous But I don't give a fuck, I'm gonna keep chasing I gotta I'm running late Again That's the third time this week I know I know It's just been one of those days
Well, you better hurry up. We can't afford to be late for the meeting. I'm already halfway out the door. Just need to grab my briefcase. Did you at least finish preparing the presentation? Yeah, it's all set. Just need to make a few last-minute adjustments. All right. Well, don't forget anything. We need to knock this out of the park. Trust me, I won't. Thanks for understanding. No problem. Just get here as fast as you can. Will do. See you in a bit. Make four to head towards or contribute to a particular outcome. Have you heard about the new policies the government is proposing? Yes, I've been following the news. It seems like they're trying to make for a more sustainable future with these policies. That's right. The proposed measures aim to reduce carbon emissions and promote renewable energy sources. It's a step in the right direction. By implementing these policies, they hope to make for a cleaner and healthier environment for future generations. Exactly. The decisions we make today will have a significant impact on the world we leave behind for our children and grandchildren. And it's not just about environmental sustainability. These policies can also make for a more resilient economy and create new job opportunities in green industries. Agreed. By investing in renewable energy and green technologies, we can make for a more prosperous and equitable society. It's encouraging to see the government taking proactive steps to address pressing issues like climate change. Definitely. Let's hope these policies lead us towards a brighter and more sustainable future. Give out to distribute or emit. Have you seen the new air fresheners they're giving out in the office? Yes, I noticed them. They're trying to give out the new scent to everyone to see. If it improves the office environment. It's a good idea. The old ones were starting to lose their effectiveness. Definitely. It's important to give out fresh air fresheners regularly to maintain a pleasant workspace. I agree. The smell can make a big difference in how comfortable and productive people feel while working. And it's not just air fresheners. I heard they're also giving out new ergonomic chairs to employees who request them. That's great. Giving out comfortable chairs can help prevent back pain and improve posture for those who spend long hours at their desks. Exactly. It's important for employers to give out resources that promote the well-being and productivity of their employees. Agreed. By giving out these amenities, they're investing in the health and happiness of their workforce. It's now or never. Did you hear about the special discount on flights to Japan? No, I haven't. How much of a discount are we talking about? They're offering 50% off, but only if you book by the end of the week. Wow, that's a huge discount. I've always wanted to visit Japan. Me too. It feels like the perfect opportunity. It's now or never. You're right. We should seriously consider it. Do you have the dates in mind? I was thinking about going during the cherry blossom season. It's supposed to be beautiful then. 
That sounds amazing. We could visit Kyoto, Tokyo, and maybe even Mount Fuji. Exactly. There's so much to see and do. Should we go ahead and book the tickets? Let's do it. We can plan the details later, but we shouldn't miss out on this deal. Agreed. I'll start looking at the flights and see what works best for both of us. Perfect. This is going to be an incredible trip. I can't wait. Me neither. Let's get this booked and start planning. I have a good memory for. Hey, do you remember where we parked the car? I think it was in the third row, near the entrance. Are you sure? I thought it was further back. No, I have a good memory for these things. It's definitely closer to the entrance. Okay, let's trust your memory then. Third row it is. Speaking of memory, have you seen my keys anywhere? I think you left them on the kitchen counter this morning. Ah, right. Thanks for reminding me. I have a tendency to forget where I put things sometimes. No problem. I've noticed you have a good memory for faces, though. Yeah, faces stick with me. Names, not so much. That's interesting. I'm the opposite. I remember names easily, but struggle with faces sometimes. Guess we balance each other out then. Definitely. Teamwork makes up for any memory lapses. Try it. Have you ever tried sushi? No, I haven't. Is it good? Oh, it's amazing! You should definitely try it. I don't know. Raw fish doesn't sound appealing to me. Trust me, it's not just raw fish. There are so many varieties, some with cooked ingredients too. Mmm, maybe I'll give it a shot. Where should I go to try it? There's a great sushi place downtown. We could go together if you want. All right, sounds good. I'll give it a try. Perfect. You won't regret it, I promise. Thanks for the recommendation. I'll let you know how it goes. No problem. Let me know when you're free. And we'll go together. Will do. Thanks again. Good day, sunshine. Good day, sunshine. Thank you. And a good day to you, too. How are you today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. How about yourself? I'm feeling quite energetic, actually. The sunshine always seems to boost my mood. I agree. There's something about the warmth of the sun that just makes everything better. Definitely. So, any plans for today? Just the usual work errands, and maybe some time to enjoy the outdoors later in the day. How about you? Same here. Nothing too exciting. But I'm looking forward to spending some time in the garden this evening. That sounds lovely. It's important to find moments of peace and relaxation amidst the busyness of life. Absolutely. Well, I should probably get started on my tasks. Have a wonderful day. You too.
Enjoy your time in the garden and take care. Let me jot that down. Let me jot that down. Sure, go ahead. Did you get the information about the client meeting? Yes, I have it here. It's scheduled for Thursday at 2 p.m. Good. And make a note to confirm the agenda with the client beforehand. Will do. What about the presentation slides? They're almost ready. I just need to add some final touches. Okay, make sure to send them to me by tomorrow morning. Noted. Also, don't forget about the budget review later this week. Right. I'll make sure to allocate some time for that. And let's schedule a team brainstorming session for next Monday. Got it. I'll find a suitable time slot and send out invites. Perfect. Anything else on your mind? Think over. Consider carefully before deciding. I've been offered a new job, but I'm not sure if I should take it. Can we talk it over? Of course. What are the pros and cons? Well, the new job offers a higher salary and better benefits, but it would require me to move to a different city. That's a big decision. Have you had time to think it over? I have, but I'm still undecided. I really like my current job and the city I live in. Moving would mean starting over. It sounds like you need to think it over some more. Have you considered the long-term benefits? Yes, the new job has more opportunities for advancement. But I'm also worried about leaving my friends and family behind. That's a valid concern. Maybe you should think it over and make a list of what's most important to you. That's a good idea. I need to think it over and weigh all the factors before making a decision. Take your time. This is a big step, and you want to be sure you're making the right choice. Thanks for the advice. I'll think it over and see what feels right. That's something I don't want to slip my mind. Ice in my veins, I've been driving this train. Years in this lane, there's no stopping this flame. Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play. How I like rearranged it to my own domain. Yeah, I got what it takes, made lots of mistakes. Hey, did you remember to book the flights for our trip next month? Oh, no, I haven't yet. Thanks for reminding me. No problem. We should get that sorted soon before the prices go up. Definitely. That's something I don't want to slip my mind. Agreed. And while we're at it, have you looked into accommodation? Not yet, but I'll add it to my list. Thanks for bringing it up. No worries. We don't want to end up without a place to stay. Absolutely. I'll make sure to prioritize it. Great. And also, have you sorted out the travel insurance? Oh, right. I almost forgot about that. Thanks for reminding me. That's definitely something I don't want to slip my mind. Exactly. It's important to have everything in place before we leave. I'll take care of it today. Thanks for keeping me on track. Happy day to you. Happy day to you. Thank you. And a happy day to you as well. How are you today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. How about yourself? 
I'm feeling quite good, thank you. It's always nice to start the day with such positive wishes. I'm glad to hear that. Sometimes a simple greeting can brighten the mood. Absolutely. It sets a cheerful tone for the day ahead. So true. Do you have any plans for today? Just the usual tasks and responsibilities. How about you? Same here. Nothing too out of the ordinary. But I'm hoping to find some time for relaxation and maybe a little adventure. That sounds like a wonderful way to spend the day. Indeed. Well, I should probably get going now. Have a fantastic day. I'm feeling like I'm hitting a wall. You seem a bit frustrated today. What's going on? I'm just feeling like I'm hitting a wall, you know? It's like no matter what I do, I can't seem to make any progress. I understand. It can be really challenging when you feel stuck in a rut like that. Yeah, it's frustrating. I've been trying to push through, but it feels like I'm getting nowhere. Maybe it's time to take a step back and reassess the situation. Sometimes a fresh perspective can help break through that barrier. You might be right. I've been so focused on trying to force my way forward that I haven't stopped to consider if there's another approach. Exactly. It's important to be open to new ideas and strategies when you're facing obstacles like this. I'll give that a try. Maybe taking a break and coming back to it with a clear mind will help me see things differently. That sounds like a plan. Remember, it's okay to ask for help or take a different path if you need to. Put off, to discourage or repel. I don't really know what comes next. I'm just doing my best even though I'm so stressed out. Everything just feels like a test that I feel so depressed when I can't seem to get out. But something deep inside Have you noticed how some people's negative attitudes can put off? Others from engaging with them? Absolutely. It's like they're constant complaining, or criticism creates a barrier that pushes people away. It's interesting how a negative vibe can put off even the most optimistic individuals. Definitely. It's important to maintain a positive demeanor especially in social situations, to avoid putting others off. I agree. People are naturally drawn to those who exude positivity and enthusiasm. That's true. But sometimes, certain behaviors or habits can unintentionally put others off without the person even realizing it. Exactly. It's important to be mindful of how our actions and words might be perceived by others. Absolutely. Making an effort to be considerate and respectful can go a long way in preventing us from putting others off. Agreed. Being aware of how our behavior affects those around us is key to building and maintaining positive relationships. That's a step in the right direction. Have you heard about the new recycling program the city is implementing? Yeah, I saw something about it in the news. They're adding more bins around the neighborhood, right? Exactly! And they're planning to start a composting initiative, too. That's a step in the right direction. Definitely. It's about time they took more action on waste management. Our current system is pretty outdated. Agreed. Plus, they're going to offer workshops on how to properly recycle and compost. It should help educate everyone on the best practices. That's smart. Education is key. 
A lot of people want to do the right thing, but just don't know how. Exactly. I think it'll make a big difference in reducing waste. And it might even inspire other cities to follow suit. Hopefully. We've got to start somewhere, and this is a good beginning. For sure. I'm planning to attend one of the workshops. Want to join me? Absolutely. It'll be great to learn more and contribute to making our community greener. Break a leg. So, your big performance is tonight, right? How are you feeling about it? Yeah, it's tonight. I'm nervous but excited. We've rehearsed a lot, so I'm hoping it all goes smoothly. I'm sure it will. Just remember to enjoy the moment. You've worked hard for this. Break a leg! Thanks. I'll definitely try to soak it all in. It's my first lead role so it feels pretty significant. It's a huge deal. What's the play about again? It's a modern adaptation of Shakespeare's Hamlet. I play Hamlet, and there's a lot of contemporary twists to it. That sounds fascinating. Bringing something new to such a classic must be challenging. It is, but it's also rewarding. We've incorporated modern dialogue and themes, which makes it really accessible. I can't wait to see it. I've got tickets for tonight. I'll be cheering from the audience. Awesome. It'll be great to have familiar faces out there. Thanks for the support. Anytime. Just go out there and shine. You're going to be fantastic. Kick back, relax or recline. It's been such a hectic week. I feel like I haven't had a moment to breathe. I know what you mean. Sometimes you just need to kick back and relax. Exactly. Do you have any plans to kick back this weekend? Yeah, I'm planning to kick back with a good book and maybe watch some movies. How about you? That sounds perfect. I might do something similar. I've been wanting to catch up on some TV shows. Which shows are you watching? I've been really into Stranger Things lately. It's the perfect show to kick back with. That's a great choice. I've been meaning to watch that too. Maybe I'll start it this weekend. You should. It's really captivating. What book are you reading? I'm reading The Night Circus. It's a great way to kick back and escape into a different world. I've heard good things about that one. Enjoy your weekend. We all need some time to kick back and recharge. Absolutely. Let's make the most of it and come back refreshed. Enjoy your shows. Thanks. You too enjoy your book. I have to keep my fingers crossed. Have you heard back from the job interview yet? Not yet. They said they'd get back to me in a week or so. I really hope you get it. You've been looking for a new job for a while now. Thanks. I appreciate that. I have to keep my fingers crossed and hope for the best. Yeah, it can be tough out there in the job market. But your skills and experience should stand out. I hope so. It's just nerve-wracking not knowing for sure. Well, 
All you can do now is wait and see. Keep applying to other positions as a backup, just in case. You're right. I shouldn't put all my eggs in one basket. I'll continue searching while hoping for this opportunity to work out. That's a smart approach. I have to keep my fingers crossed for you too. Thanks, it means a lot. Let's see what the future holds. How much is this item? How much is this item? That item is priced at $25.99. Hmm, okay. And do you have any discounts or promotions going on? Currently, we're offering a 10% discount on purchases over $50. Interesting. I might add a few more items then. Can you show me what else you have in stock? Sure. Let me show you around. We have a variety of products in different categories. Great, thanks. I'll take a look around. If you have any questions or need assistance, just let me know. Will do, thanks. Keep away to stay at a distance. Have you noticed how some people tend to keep away from discussing certain topics? Absolutely. It's like they're afraid of delving into anything that might make them uncomfortable or challenge their beliefs. It's interesting how avoidance can become a coping mechanism for dealing with difficult conversations. Definitely. But I think it's important to confront those topics rather than keep away from them. I agree. Keeping away from uncomfortable discussions can lead to misunderstandings and hinder personal growth. Exactly. It's important to approach these conversations with an open mind and a willingness to listen. That's true. But sometimes, people keep away from such discussions out of fear of confrontation or judgment. Yes. That fear of conflict can be a powerful deterrent. But ultimately, addressing uncomfortable topics can lead to deeper understanding and stronger relationships. Absolutely. It's about embracing discomfort as a catalyst for growth, rather than avoiding it altogether. I'm so proud of you. Guess what? I finally finished writing my novel. That's amazing. I know how hard you've been working on it. Yeah, it's been quite the journey. But I'm really happy with how it turned out. I can only imagine the dedication and effort you put into it. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Your support means everything to me. Seriously, writing a novel is no small feat. It takes discipline, creativity, and perseverance. It definitely wasn't easy, but I'm glad I stuck with it. And having people like you cheering me on along the way made all the difference. Well, it paid off. You should be proud of yourself for accomplishing such a significant milestone. Thanks again. I couldn't have done it without you. And everyone else who believed in me. Anytime. Now, let's celebrate your achievement. Run away to flee or escape.
have you ever been in a situation where your first instinct was to run away? Oh, definitely. There have been moments of intense fear or anxiety where the only thing I wanted to do was run away from the situation. It's a natural response to danger or overwhelming stress, isn't it? Absolutely. Our fight or flight response kicks in, and sometimes fleeing seems like the safest option. But running away isn't always the best solution, is it? No, it's not. While it might provide temporary relief, it doesn't address the underlying issues. Exactly. Sometimes we need to confront our fears or challenges rather than running away from them. Agreed. Facing our problems head-on can lead to personal growth and resilience. And often, when we muster the courage to confront our fears, we realize they weren't as daunting as we initially thought. Definitely. Running away might seem easier in the moment, but facing our challenges ultimately leads to greater strength and confidence. Could you please pass me the pepper? Could you please pass me the pepper? Sure thing. Here you go. Thanks. No problem. Are you enjoying your meal? Yes. It's quite tasty. How about you? Agreed. It's delicious. By the way, have you finished that report for the meeting tomorrow? Not yet. I'm still working on it. Okay. Just make sure to send it to me for review before the end of the day. Will do. Thanks for reminding me. No worries. Oh, did you hear about the new project our team is starting next week? Yes, I did. It sounds exciting. Definitely. We should discuss our approach soon. I agree. Let's schedule a meeting for later this week. Sounds good. Here's the pepper back. Thanks. Look out to be cautious or watchful. Let's go. Yo, I'm like an addict. Do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet. Lose won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket. I ain't playing, got a weird mind. If you hey, did you notice how cautious Sarah is when crossing the street? It's like she's always on the lookout for something. Yeah, I've noticed that too. She's very diligent about looking out for oncoming traffic. It's a good habit to have, especially in busy areas where drivers might not be paying attention. Absolutely. It's better to be overly cautious than to take unnecessary risks. Definitely. You never know when someone might run a red light or fail to yield to pedestrians. That's true. Being aware of your surroundings and looking out for potential dangers can prevent accidents. And it's not just on the road. Looking out for scams and fraudulent schemes is important too. Absolutely. With so much information available online, it's crucial to be vigilant and skeptical of suspicious offers. Agreed. It's all about staying informed and taking proactive measures to protect yourself. Walk through, explain or demonstrate step by step. Hey, can you walk me through the process of setting up a new phone? Sure. First, turn on the phone by pressing the power button. Got it. What's next? Once it powers up, you'll see a welcome screen. Select your language and hit Next. Okay, I did that. What comes after that? 
you'll need to connect to a Wi-Fi network. Choose your network and enter the password. Done! What's the next step? Now, you'll see an option to sign in with your Google account. Enter your email and password. All right, I'm signed in. What do I do now? The phone will ask if you want to restore data from a backup or set it up as a new device. Choose your preference. I want to set it up as a new device. Great. Follow the prompts to set up your preferences, such as screen lock, voice assistant, and app permissions. OK, I think I've got everything set up. Thanks for walking me through it. No problem. Enjoy your new phone. Paying ways. I'd like to pay for these items. Could you tell me what payment methods you accept here? We accept cash, credit cards, and mobile payments like Apple Pay and Google Wallet. Which one works best for you? I might use my credit card. Do you take all major ones? Yes, we take Visa, MasterCard, American Express, and Discover. Great. Actually. Do you offer any discounts for using a specific payment type? Some places have promotions. Currently, we offer a 5% discount if you use our store credit card. If you don't have one, I can help you apply right now. It only takes a few minutes. I appreciate that. But I'll stick with my regular credit card today. No problem at all. Please insert your card when you're ready. And follow the prompts on the screen. Here you go. All set. Here's your receipt. Thank you for shopping with us. Language Exchange Partners Guess what? I found a secret weapon for learning English. Oh, do tell. Is it a new app or something? Better. It's finding a language exchange partner. It's like having a friend from another world. Another world? Sounds like CI-Fi. How does that work? Well, you pair up with someone who wants to learn your language. And you want to learn theirs. It's a win-win. You become each other's teacher and student. That's clever. But what if we end up just laughing at each other's mistakes? That's the fun part. You learn faster when you're having fun. Imagine accidentally asking for a library when you wanted a book and ending up in a conversation about architecture instead. Ha! That does sound like an adventure. And I guess making mistakes is part of the journey. Exactly. Plus, you get to dive into their culture. It's like being a traveler without leaving your home. I'm in. Who knew learning English could open up a whole new world? Let's start our adventure. Ready to find your partner in crime? Absolutely. To infinity and beyond. Put away, to tidy up or store something. Have you had a chance to put away the groceries yet? Not yet. I've been busy with other tasks, but I'll put them away as soon as I finish this. It's important to put away perishable items like milk and vegetables promptly to keep them fresh. I know. 
I'll make sure to prioritize putting them away as soon as possible. And while you're at it, don't forget to put away the dishes from the dishwasher. They've been sitting there for a while. Right, I'll take care of that too. It's always a good feeling to put away clean dishes and have a tidy kitchen. Definitely. A clutter-free environment can help reduce stress and improve productivity. I agree. Plus, putting things away in their proper place makes it easier to find them when we need them later. Exactly. Let's make it a habit to put away items after using them to maintain a neat and organized living space. What's new? Hey, what's new? Not much. Just been busy with work lately. How about you? Same here. Work seems to be consuming most of my time these days. Any exciting developments on your end? Well, I've been trying to delve into some new hobbies in my spare time. Been experimenting with painting, actually. That sounds interesting. How's that going? It's challenging, but rewarding. I'm still trying to find my style and technique, but it's a refreshing change from the usual routine. I can imagine. It's always good to explore new creative outlets. Anything else keeping you occupied? Not really. Just trying to maintain a balance between work, hobbies, and personal life. What about you? Any new projects or interests catching your attention? Not at the moment. Just trying to stay on top of things. But maybe I'll take a page from your book and try something creative soon. Is there a discount available? Is there a discount available? Yes. We have a few promotions running right now. Are you looking for something specific? Not really. Just wondering if there's any discount on the items I'm purchasing today. Well, we have a buy one, get one 50% off deal on selected items. That sounds good. Are the items I've picked included in that deal? Let me check for you. Yes, some of them are eligible for the promotion. Perfect. I'll take advantage of that then. Are there any other discounts or coupons I can use? Unfortunately, not at the moment. But you'll still save quite a bit with the buy one, get one 50% off offer. All right, sounds good. Let's proceed with the purchase. Could you please pass me the salt? Could you please pass me the salt? Sure. Here you go. Thanks. You're welcome. Are you enjoying the meal? Yes, it's delicious. How about you? I agree. It's quite tasty. By the way, have you heard from Sarah recently? Not really. I think she's been busy with work. Ah, uh, I see. We should catch up with her soon. Definitely. Let's plan something. Anyway, did you watch that new movie that came out last week? No, not yet. Is it any good? I heard mixed reviews, but I'm curious to check it out. Maybe we can go together sometime. Sounds like a plan. Here's the salt back. That's a good idea.
I was thinking about ways to improve our productivity in the office. Oh, yeah. What ideas do you have in mind? Well, I was considering implementing a flexible work schedule. That's a good idea. It could allow employees to work during their most productive hours. Exactly. Plus, it could help with work-life balance and reduce stress. I agree. But how would we ensure that everyone is still available for meetings? And collaboration? We could establish core hours where everyone needs to be available. And beyond that, they can choose their working hours. That makes sense. It provides flexibility while still maintaining communication and teamwork. Additionally, it could attract and retain top talent as many professionals value flexibility in their work arrangements. That's a valid point. Let's explore this idea further and see how we can implement it effectively. Agreed. I'll start drafting a proposal outlining the details of the flexible work schedule. Sounds like a plan. I'm looking forward to seeing your proposal. A very good morning to you. A very good morning to you. How are you today? Good morning. I'm doing well. Thank you. And yourself? I'm great. Thanks for asking. Did you have a good start to your day? Yes, I did. I woke up feeling refreshed and ready to tackle the day ahead. How about you? Likewise, I feel energized and motivated. Have you made any plans for today? Not yet. But I have a few tasks on my to-do list that I need to take care of. How about you? I have a meeting in the morning. But other than that, my schedule is pretty open. Maybe we could grab lunch together if you're free. That sounds like a great idea. I should be done with my tasks by then. Where should we meet? How about that new cafe downtown? I heard they have great sandwiches. Let's put the finishing touches on it. They tell me that I'm never gonna make it. They want me to do something that can make sense. They hate when I keep... I can't believe we're almost done with the backyard project. It's looking amazing. I know. It's come together better than I imagined. Just a few more things to do. Let's put the finishing touches on it. Agreed. We still need to plant those flowers along the walkway. Did you decide on which ones? Yeah, I went with a mix of daisies and lavender. I think they'll add a nice pop of color and fragrance. Perfect choice. I'll start digging the holes for them. What about the garden lights? I've got them right here. I was thinking of spacing them out along the path and around the seating area. Sounds good. That'll create a nice ambience for evening get-togethers. And the new patio furniture should arrive tomorrow. Just in time. We can set it up and have a little celebration to break it in. Absolutely. After all this hard work, we deserve a relaxing evening out here. Definitely. It's been a lot of effort, but seeing it all come together makes it worth it. Speak up. Talk louder. Did you manage to catch what the guide was saying about the sculpture? Not really. It was quite crowded and noisy. I wish he would speak up a bit. Yeah, I was thinking the same. There were a few interesting facts I think I missed. 
Did you understand anything about the artist's intention? Only bits and pieces. Something about the sculpture representing peace and chaos together. But I couldn't hear the explanation well enough. It's frustrating when you can't hear clearly. I agree. Next time, we should ask the guide to speak up or use a microphone if there's one available. It would help a lot in such a big group. Absolutely. I'll mention it to him at the end of the tour. It's important for everyone to catch the details, especially in an art museum where every piece has a story. Right. And understanding those stories really enriches the whole experience. Let's try to stay closer to the front as we move on to the next exhibit. Make up four to compensate for something. Don't wanna sleep in, cause I got something to prove. I gotta take what I hate and finally make a move. I think of you and all the Have you ever had to work extra hours to make up for lost time on a project? Yeah, definitely. There have been occasions where I've had to pull all-nighters just to make up for procrastination earlier in the week. It can be tough trying to make up for lost time, especially when deadlines are looming. Absolutely. But sometimes, the pressure of a looming deadline is what motivates me to buckle down and focus. I know what you mean. It's amazing how much work you can get done when you're under the gun. True. But it's also important not to let procrastination get the best of you and end up having to make up for lost time in the first place. Definitely. It's all about finding a balance between staying on top of your tasks and giving yourself enough time to recharge. Exactly. Learning from past mistakes and being proactive can help minimize the need to make up for lost time in the future. That's unbelievable. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you want to be. Step four, everybody just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Have you heard about the latest breakthrough in renewable energy technology? No, what's the news? Scientists have developed a new solar panel that is significantly more efficient than any existing technology. That's unbelievable. How much more efficient are we talking about? They claim it can convert sunlight into electricity with an efficiency rate of over 50%, which is almost double the efficiency of traditional solar panels. That's incredible. It could revolutionize the way we harness solar energy. Exactly. With such high efficiency, solar power could become even more cost-effective and widely adopted. This could have a significant impact on reducing our reliance on fossil fuels and combating climate change. Absolutely. It's an exciting development that could pave the way for a more sustainable future. I can't wait to see how this technology progresses and becomes integrated into our energy systems. Agreed. It's truly a game changer in the renewable energy sector. Do you have the time? Let's go. Yeah. I'm like an addict, do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet, lose won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket. I ain't playing, got a weird mind. If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine. Do you have the time? Sure, it's 2.45. Thanks. I thought I was running late for the meeting. No problem. Are you heading there now? Yeah, just grab me a coffee before I go. Smart move. Need any help with anything? Nah, I'm good. But could you remind me to print out those documents before the meeting starts? Of course, I'll make a note. Great. Thanks again. Anytime. Oh, and did you hear about the new project deadline? No, what's the update? It got pushed back to next Friday. That 
That's a relief. I was worried we wouldn't have enough time. Yeah, me too. Anyway, I'll see you in the meeting. See you there. It's too cold in here. It's too cold in here. Really? I thought it was just right. No, I'm freezing. Can we turn up the heat? Sure, I'll adjust the thermostat. Thanks, that feels much better. No problem. I didn't realize it was so chilly. Yeah, I've been shivering for the past hour. Sorry about that. I'll make sure it stays warmer from now on. Appreciate it. I can't concentrate when I'm this cold. Understandable. Let me know if it gets uncomfortable again. Will do. Thanks for taking care of it. Anytime. We all need to be comfortable while working. Agreed. Thanks again. No problem. Music fan. Hey, I noticed you were wearing a t-shirt from the Solar Waves last tour. Are you a big fan? Yeah, huge fan. I've seen them live three times. How about you? I've only seen them once. But their albums are on constant replay at my place. What's your favorite album? That's a tough choice, but I'd have to go with Echoes of the Horizon. It's got a great mix of their classic sound and some new experimental tracks. What's yours? Midnight Pulse. It was the first album of theirs I listened to. And it just stuck with me. That's a good one. They really hit their stride with that album. Have you heard their latest single? Not yet. But I've been meaning to check it out. Is it good? Definitely. It's a bit different from their usual style, but in a good way. I'll send you a link if you want. Please do. I'd love to hear it. Thanks. How's your day been so far? Hey, how's your day been so far? It's been pretty good. Thanks for asking. Just been tackling my tasks one by one and trying to stay productive. That sounds like a productive start. Anything exciting happening? Not particularly. Just the usual routine. But I'm hoping to finish up some projects by the end of the day. Well, it's always satisfying to check things off your to-do list. Definitely. How about you? How's your day shaping up? It's been all right. Dealing with a few unexpected issues, but nothing I can't handle. That's the spirit. Sometimes it's those unexpected challenges that keep things interesting. True. Keeps us on our toes, right? Exactly. Well, if you need any help with those challenges, feel free to reach out. I'm here to lend a hand. Thanks, I appreciate that. Same goes for you. Don't hesitate to ask if you need assistance with anything. Pay off, finish paying a debt, yield good results. So, 
I finally paid off my student loans last week. It's a huge relief to be free of that debt. That's fantastic. It must feel great to have that paid off. How long did it take? It took about 10 years. I started with a strict budget and gradually increased my payments. Seeing the balance go down over time was really motivating. Definitely. Watching your efforts pay off like that can be really satisfying. I'm working on my car loan now. Hope to have it paid off by next year. Good strategy. It's amazing how much you can save on interest by paying it off early. Exactly. And once it's paid off, I can start putting that money towards something else. Maybe even start saving for a down payment on a house. That's a smart move. Getting those debts paid off early really opens up a lot of financial possibilities. Good luck with your car loan. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Have you heard about the new policy? The company is considering implementing? Yes, I have. It's quite controversial, isn't it? Definitely. Some people seem to be in favor of it, but others have reservations. I'm not sure how I feel about that. On one hand, it could streamline processes, but on the other hand, it might create more bureaucracy. That's a valid concern. It's essential to weigh the potential benefits against the drawbacks. Exactly. We need to consider how it will impact employees and overall efficiency. I agree. It's crucial to gather feedback from all stakeholders before making a decision. Perhaps we should conduct a survey or hold a series of discussions to gauge opinions and concerns. That sounds like a proactive approach. It's important to involve everyone in the decision-making process. Absolutely. Let's gather as much information as possible before moving forward with the implementation. Agreed. We need to ensure that whatever decision we make is in the best interest of the company and its employees. Good morning to you and yours. Good morning to you and yours. Thank you. Good morning to you too. How are you today? I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. How about yourself? I'm feeling pretty good, although I could use another cup of coffee to fully wake up. I understand that feeling. It's amazing how much coffee can help kickstart the day. Definitely. So, any plans for today? Just the usual work tasks and some errands to run. How about you? I have a few meetings scheduled, and then I need to finish up some paperwork. Sounds like a busy day ahead. Let's get back on track. We've been brainstorming ideas for our new marketing campaign, but I feel like we're getting off course. You're right. We've been getting sidetracked with tangential discussions. Let's get back on track and focus on the main objectives of the campaign. Agreed. We need to streamline our ideas and ensure they align with our goals. Perhaps we should revisit our target audience and tailor our strategies accordingly. That's a good idea. 
we need to ensure our messaging resonates with our target demographic. Let's also assess our budget and resources to make sure we're allocating them effectively. Absolutely. We need to maximize our resources to achieve the best possible results. By refocusing our efforts, we can develop a more cohesive and impactful marketing plan. That's the spirit. Let's regroup, refocus, and get back on track to create a successful campaign. Stand by, support. I don't really know what comes next. I'm just doing my best, even though I'm so stressed out. Everything just feels like a test that I feel so depressed when I. Did you hear about the new community project starting next month? Yes, I heard something about it. What's the main goal? It's focused on improving the local park. They want to add new playground equipment, plant more trees, and create a community garden. That sounds fantastic. How can people get involved? They need volunteers for various tasks like planting, building, and organizing events. They're also looking for donations. Are you planning to volunteer? Absolutely. I think it's a great cause, and I've always enjoyed working on community projects. Plus, it's a good way to meet new people. I agree. It's important to stand by projects that benefit the community. Maybe I'll join as well. You should. They can use all the help they can get. It's a big project, but I think it will make a huge difference. Definitely. I'll check out their website tonight to see how I can help. Great. The more people who stand by the project, the better it will be. Seem to get out. Something deep inside Figure out, solve a problem or discover the cause of something. Have you managed to figure out what was causing the error on your laptop? Yes, finally. It took a bit of digging, but I discovered it was an outdated driver that was messing everything up. That's a relief. How did you figure it out? I went through the system logs and noticed that the error messages started right after a recent update. Then I checked the forums and a few people had the same issue. They suggested updating all the drivers. Good detective work. So everything's running smoothly now. It's like night and day. No crashes. No errors. I'm just glad I could figure it out without having to take it to a repair shop. Definitely saves you time and money. It's always satisfying to solve a problem like that yourself. Absolutely. Plus, I learned a bit more about how my computer works, which is always a bonus. Knowledge like that always comes in handy. Good job on figuring it out. Let's get this show on the road. I love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always there. All right, everyone, gather around. It's time to start our project kickoff meeting. Let's get this show on the road. Absolutely. First, I'll give a brief overview of the project objectives and timeline. Sounds good. Then we can discuss the roles and responsibilities of each team member. Exactly. I want to ensure everyone is clear on what's expected of them. And we should also go over the key deliverables and milestones. Agreed. It's essential to establish clear targets to keep us on track. Once we have all the details ironed out, we can dive into the specifics of each task. 
That's the plan. I'll also address any potential challenges we might encounter along the way. Great. Let's make sure to encourage open communication and collaboration throughout the project. Absolutely. By working together effectively, I'm confident we can achieve success. All right, then. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get this show on the road. Listen to English content. I've started listening to English podcasts to improve my skills. It's surprisingly fun. Oh, interesting. But what if you accidentally tune into a mystery podcast and start suspecting everyone around you? Then I'll become a detective with excellent English listening skills. Imagine solving a mystery while practicing the language. That's one way to learn. But imagine listening to a comedy show. And laughing out loud in public, people might think you're quirky. That would be hilarious. At least my happiness would be contagious. Plus, understanding humor in another language is a big win. True. But what if you listen to a science podcast and start explaining quantum physics to everyone in English? Then I'll be the coolest nerd around. But imagine getting so into English songs that you start singing them in the shower, out of tune. A shower superstar, huh? From mysteries to music, it sounds like listening to English content is a journey full of surprises. Absolutely. It makes learning English an adventure filled with laughter, curiosity, and maybe a bit of singing. It's all Greek to me. Have you seen the new software update? The instructions are so confusing. Yeah, I looked at them, but honestly, it's all Greek to me. I'm glad I'm not the only one struggling to understand it. Sometimes these technical documents are just too complex. I wish they could explain it in simpler terms. I agree. It would make things a lot easier for everyone. Maybe we can ask someone more experienced for help. That's a good idea. They might be able to translate it into plain English for us. Let's do that then. I can't afford to make mistakes with this update. Agreed. We'll find someone who can decipher it for us. Thanks for the support. It's reassuring to know I'm not alone in feeling lost with this. No problem. We're in this together. It's all Greek to us, but we'll figure it out. That's a game of cat and mouse. I've been trying to book a camping spot at the National Park for next month, but the reservations keep slipping through my fingers. Oh, those spots are notorious for being hard to snag. It's like a game of cat and mouse with the booking system. Exactly. Every time a spot opens up and I try to book it, someone else beats me to it. It's been frustrating. Have you tried logging and write when new slots are released? Usually they update the system early in the morning. I did that today, set my alarm and everything. But by the time I logged in, all the slots for the weekend were taken. That's tough luck. Maybe expand your dates. If you're flexible, you might have better chances during the weekdays. Good idea. I'll give that a shot. This system might drive me nuts, but I'm determined to get a spot. Keep at it and let me know if you want any help. Maybe we can tag team it one morning. Thanks. 
I might just take you up on that. Good to see you. Good to see you. How have you been? Good to see you too. I've been doing well, thank you. How about yourself? I've been keeping busy, but overall things are going well. Have you been working on anything exciting lately? Yes, actually. I've been involved in a new project at work that's been keeping me occupied. It's been challenging, but also very rewarding. That sounds interesting. What's the project about? It's a collaboration between several departments to develop a more efficient workflow for our client management system. We're aiming to streamline processes and improve overall efficiency. That sounds like it could have a big impact. I'm sure your team will do great work on it. Thank you. I hope so. It's been a team effort. And everyone has been putting in a lot of effort to make it a success. Well, it's always inspiring to see teamwork in action. Keep up the good work. Lay out, explain clearly or arrange. I'm having a bit of trouble understanding this new game we bought. The rules seem complicated. Yeah, it can be tricky at first. Want me to lay out how it works? I appreciate it. That would be great. No problem. So, first, let's lay out the board and the pieces. Each player starts with five cards and places their tokens on the starting position. Okay, got it. What happens next? Each turn, you draw a card and either play it or discard it. The goal is to collect sets of matching cards to earn points. How do you move your token? Good question. You move your token based on the number of points you earn from your card sets. I'll lay out an example. If you collect three matching cards, you move three spaces. That makes sense. How does the game end? The game ends when a player reaches the final space on the board. At that point, everyone tallies their points, and the player with the most points wins. Thanks for laying it out for me. It seems much clearer now. I'm so impressed by your dedication. Have you been practicing the guitar every day? I heard you playing yesterday, and you sounded amazing! Thanks. Yes, I've been trying to get at least an hour of practice in each day. I'm so impressed by your dedication to your own hobbies, it inspired me to stick with it. That's great to hear. It's paying off. Your progress is noticeable. Any particular reason for the daily practice? I've always wanted to get better at it, and I figured consistency is key. Plus, it's a nice way to unwind after a long day. Absolutely. It's incredible what a bit of daily effort can do. What are you working on right now? I'm learning some classic rock songs. It's challenging but fun. Next, I want to try composing my own pieces. That's ambitious. I'm sure you'll do great. Have you thought about joining a local band or performing? Maybe eventually. For now, I'm just enjoying the learning process. But who knows where it might lead? Keep at it. Your dedication is really inspiring. I might pick up a new hobby myself. Settle down. Become stable or calm in one's life or situation.
Hey, how have you been lately? I've been doing well, thanks. Just trying to settle down after moving into the new apartment. Oh, you moved? How's the new place? It's great. It's in a quieter neighborhood, which is nice. I've been unpacking and getting everything organized. That sounds like a big change. Do you like it there? Definitely. It feels good to finally have a place where I can settle down. The old place was too hectic. I can imagine. Sometimes a change of scenery is just what you need. Are you planning to stay there long term? Yeah, that's the plan. I'm hoping to stay for at least a few years. It's close to work and has all the amenities I need. That sounds perfect. I remember you were looking for something more stable. Exactly. It feels like the right move. Now, I just need to finish unpacking. And it'll really start to feel like home. Well, it sounds like you're on the right track. Let me know if you need any help with the unpacking. I can't forget. Do you ever find yourself stuck in moments you can't forget? Yeah, more often than I'd like to admit. Some memories just linger, you know? Exactly. It's like they're imprinted in your mind, no matter how hard you try to move on. Yeah, it's frustrating. Sometimes I wish I could just erase them. But then, would we be who we are without those memories? They shape us in a way. True. They're a part of our story, whether we like it or not. I guess we just have to learn to live with them, find a way to make peace with the past. Easier said than done sometimes. Definitely. But, hey, we're in it together, right? Yeah, always. Thanks for understanding. Anytime. That's what friends are for. I need to remember to. I need to remember to. Remember to what? To call the client back before the end of the day. Right, that's important. What's the update? They wanted some clarification on the proposal details. Did you get everything sorted out? Yes, I explained everything clearly. They seemed satisfied. Good to hear. Anything else on your to-do list? I need to remember to send out the meeting minutes from yesterday's team meeting. Ah, uh, yes. Thanks for reminding me. And make sure to highlight the action items. Will do. What about the project timeline? We're still on track, but I'll double check and send you an updated version by the end of the day. Perfect. And don't forget about the training session next week. Right. I'll send out the reminders tomorrow. That's a silver lining. So, how did your weekend trip go with that wild weather rolling in? Oh, it poured non-stop. We planned to camp, but ended up staying in a small inn instead. That sounds like a change of plans. Was the inn at least comfortable? Surprisingly, yes. It was cozy, had a fireplace, and we met some interesting travelers. We shared stories and played games all evening. It turned out to be quite memorable. That's a silver lining then. It's funny how sometimes unexpected changes lead to new experiences. Exactly. And you know, it was a reminder that it's not about the place but the people. And moments we create 
I think we sometimes forget that in our busy lives. True, getting caught up in plans and details. We often miss out on the spontaneous joys. Maybe the rain was a good thing after all. Definitely. I came back feeling refreshed, even without the hiking and camping. It was a weekend well spent. Sounds like you found the perfect way to make the best of it. Maybe I should rethink my next sunny getaway. Let's play it safe. Let's go. Yo. I'm like an addict, do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet, lose won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket. I'm thinking about trying out that new trail this weekend. The views are supposed to be incredible. Sounds like an adventure. But have you checked the weather? They're predicting some storms in the area. I saw that. But I'm hoping it might clear up by Saturday. Maybe it'll just be a light drizzle? Even a light drizzle can make those trails slippery, especially the rocky parts. Let's play it safe and check the weather updates closer to the weekend. You're right. It's better not to risk an injury. There's always another weekend for hiking. Exactly. And if it does clear up, we'll have a great time without worrying about getting caught in bad weather. I appreciate your caution. Maybe we can plan some alternatives in case we have to postpone the hike. Good idea. There's that indoor climbing gym we haven't tried yet. Or we could go for the escape room downtown. Both sound great. Let's make a final call on Friday and decide based on the weather. I ain't playing, got a weird mind. If you work eight hours, I'm a work. It's a balancing act. How are you managing work and family these days? It's a balancing act, to be honest. Juggling my job and taking care of the kids is challenging. I can imagine. Have you found any strategies that help? Well, I've been trying to set a strict schedule and prioritize tasks. It's all about finding the right balance. That makes sense. And what about self-care? Are you getting any time for yourself? It's a bit tough. But I'm trying to squeeze and cement him when I can. It's important for my sanity. Absolutely. It's crucial to take care of yourself in the midst of all this. I agree. It's a constant effort to keep everything in check, but I'm doing my best. Well, you're doing a great job. It's a balancing act, but you seem to be handling it gracefully. Thanks. I appreciate your support. We all do what we have to do, right? That's true. Keep up the good work, and don't forget to prioritize your own well-being, too. Cut back to reduce or decrease. Have you ever tried to cut back on caffeine? Yes, I have. I used to drink several cups of coffee a day, but I realized I needed to cut back when I started experiencing jitters and trouble sleeping. It can be challenging to cut back on something we're accustomed to, especially when it's a daily habit like drinking coffee. Definitely. But once I started to gradually cut back and limit my caffeine intake, I noticed improvements in my energy levels and overall well-being. That's great to hear. Cutting back on caffeine can have positive effects on both physical and mental health. Absolutely. It's important to listen to our bodies and recognize when we need to cut back on certain substances or behaviors that might be harmful. And it's not just caffeine. 
There are many areas of life where cutting back can lead to greater balance and happiness. Agreed. Whether it's cutting back on screen time, unhealthy foods, or unnecessary expenses, moderation is key to living a healthy and fulfilling life. I have faith in you. Feeling about the new role? It's a big step up from your last position. It's intimidating. Honestly, there's a lot to learn, and I want to prove I was the right choice for the promotion. It's natural to feel that way, but I have faith in you. You were promoted for a reason. Thanks. That does help. I just need to get up to speed quickly. The team is relying on me to lead effectively right off the bat. What's your first major task in the new role? I have to oversee the integration of a new software system, which is critical for our project timelines. That sounds challenging but exciting. With your track record, I'm sure you'll manage it well. I'm studying everything I can about the software. I want to make informed decisions. That's the right approach. Keep pushing yourself, but also remember you're not alone. The team will support you. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks for the confidence boost. Narrate your day. I've started doing something new to learn English, narrating my day out loud. You're kidding! Like a live commentary? Here goes, bravely facing the coffee machine. Exactly! It turns every mundane activity into an adventure. I embark on a perilous journey to the grocery store. That actually sounds hilarious! What's the most fun you've had narrating? I once narrated making dinner like a cooking show host. And now, the daring chef adds a pinch of salt. No, too daring. That's a lot of salt. My cat was my audience. Seemed impressed. I can imagine. But, any unexpected outcomes? Well, narrating valiantly battle the fierce vacuum cleaner was fun until my neighbor heard through the window and asked if I needed help with the battle. This is brilliant. I'm trying it. Maybe it'll make doing laundry feel less like a chore. The hero conquers Mount Laundry, a tale of fabric softener and unmatched socks. I'd watch that episode. Boil down to be summarized as I've been trying to figure out what makes a successful team. I've read several books and articles lately. And what have you found? Is there a common theme? It seems to boil down to communication and trust. Every source I've read emphasizes that without these elements, even the most skilled teams can struggle. That makes sense. I guess when communication is clear and everyone trusts each other, it sets a solid foundation for everything else, like creativity and accountability. Exactly! It also mentioned how important it is for leadership to foster these qualities. If leaders model good communication and trust, it tends to filter down through the team. So, in your reading, did it give any specific strategies on how to build these qualities within a team? Yes, a few. Regular team meetings, open feedback channels, team building activities, 
and transparent decision-making processes were all recommended. It's all about creating an environment where communication and trust are prioritized. That's really insightful. I think any team could benefit from focusing on those areas. Read in English. Did you know reading in English can actually turbocharge your learning? It's like discovering a secret passage in a game. Really? But I find reading a bit dull. How's that a turbocharge? Imagine finding a book that's so gripping. You can't put it down. Every page you turn, your English levels up, almost without noticing. Levels up? Like in a video game? That does sound fun, but... But nothing. Here's the surprise. You don't have to start with Shakespeare. Begin with something that tickles your fancy. Comics, sports updates, even memes. Memes? I can read memes to learn English. Absolutely. The language is current, often humorous, and you get to understand. Cultural nuances. Plus, it's a blast sharing them with friends. That's brilliant. English learning doesn't have to be a slog then. It's like being on a treasure hunt, where the prize is becoming fluent. Exactly. And every book, article, or meme you understand is another piece of the treasure. Ready to start the hunt? Count me in. Let's find that treasure. Keep on, continue doing. How's your painting hobby going? Are you still taking those weekend classes? Yes, I've decided to keep on with them. Every session seems to reveal something new about techniques or color mixing. It's been really enriching. That's great to hear. It must be satisfying to see your skills grow over time. It really is. At first, I wasn't sure if I should continue, but now I'm glad I kept on. Each painting is a bit better than the last. Have you thought about displaying your work somewhere? Maybe at a local cafe or a community center? I've been considering it. The instructor mentioned that there are a few places around town that support local artists by displaying their work. You should definitely pursue that. It would be amazing to have others appreciate your art. I think I will. I'll keep on practicing and maybe put together a small portfolio. Who knows? Maybe it'll lead to something bigger down the line. With your dedication, I'm sure it will. Just keep on painting and see where it takes you. That reminds me. Did you see the news about the new restaurant opening downtown? No, I missed that. What's it called? It's called Savor Delights. Looks like they specialize in fusion cuisine. Oh, that reminds me. Have you tried that new sushi place on Oak Street? No, I haven't had the chance yet. How was it? It was fantastic. Their rolls are so fresh and they have some unique combinations. Sounds like I need to check it out. Thanks for the recommendation. No problem. Let me know when you want to go. I'd be up for trying it again. Definitely. Maybe we can make it a group outing. Sounds like a plan. 
Hey, speaking of group outings, have you decided on a date for your birthday party? Not yet, but I'm thinking maybe next weekend. I'll let you know once I finalize the details. Awesome, count me in. Opt out, choose not to participate. Are you signing up for the Office Marathon team this year? I've decided to opt out this time. I think I'll focus on some lower impact activities for a while. That makes sense. It's important to listen to what your body needs. What kind of activities are you thinking about? I'm looking into yoga and maybe some swimming. I need something a bit gentler on my knees. Yoga and swimming sound like great choices. They're both good for strength and flexibility without being too harsh. Exactly. And both can be quite meditative. I think they'll be better for my overall well-being right now. It's good that you're making a conscious choice to prioritize your health. There's always next year, if you want to join the marathon team again. That's my thought. I'm not ruling out future marathons. But for now, opting out is the best decision. I'll still cheer everyone on from the sidelines, though. And we'll appreciate having your support. Whatever keeps you active and happy is the right choice. <laughs>